button. You guys just Hello. forget. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <clears throat> hey. We good? Yep. Yeah. Yes. We good? We sure? Yeah. No. no. Okay. <laughs> but great. Nice. We're still good. Why is Belle so loud? What happened? Yeah. I don't know. So, I don't know. She's I'm like actually loud. in front of my mic Silent. now. So maybe she silenced okay. her. <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. Dude. I thought I fixed Discord. Discord sucks, man. Like, the fucking video out of sync shit, dude. Oh my god, it pissed me off. Free piece of shit. It's a free piece Literally of shit. free piece of shit. Yeah. But hey, everybody, welcome to Dungeon Selector. We're back after being out of commission for a week. But we're here. Hi. Hello. Hey. Missed you. Dutch as well. Pog. Um, gang's all here. It feels good. Uh, and we're gonna get back into the swing of things. Uh, before we start, do we have any announcements? Anything anyone wants to share with the yeah. class? I uploaded yeah. a YouTube video today. My man, look at you being a nice. content creator. That's crazy. <clears throat> Is it another Hitman video? No, it's um, oh. the first episode of Potion Craft. Cool. Because that game is super sweet. And it looked such a, really a good game. game. I want to play. Yeah. <laughs> so I have an now. announcement. Next Saturday, so February 26th, six days from now, I, on my channel, We'll be running the Festivities one shot again that we nice. ran on this channel a while back. Bell got to play in it. Uh, I'm running it with members of my stream team, Team SideQuest, and we're doing it as part of our charity campaign for Able Gamers. So every donation, you can influence the game. You can give players or the DM advantage, disadvantage. If you know D&D &D and come up with another way you want to influence the game, uh, then based on your donation, you can do that. Uh, we've had a lot of fun with uh, one shots in the past where we've allowed donations to influence them and it's a good time. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Stop by. Um, awesome. Yeah. On the topic of charity, I guess, because we're uh, about a week away from uh, yeah. March, which means that Level Select is going to do another charity campaign. Charity Select. Uh, it's going to be Woo! awesome. Uh, probably going to be doing some D&D uh, related shenanigans on this channel as well. Some, some charity one shots here and there. Uh, if and when I can find the time. Um, it's going to be a fucking banger. It's going to be dope. It's going to be dope. It's going to be great. So uh, get ready for that. A bunch of charity shenan shenanigans and more info uh, as to what exactly we're going to be doing as Dungeon Select uh, soon. TM. I'll have a look-see. And um, announcement on announcement on that. Oh. <laughs> I'll be streaming during that month. <laughs> Whoa. No so one a year that I'll do will be Hell during yeah. that. Uh, we better get to here. My boy. The oh, charity yeah. that is we're raising money for, by the way, for Charity Select is Rise Above the Disorder, yeah. RAD for short, which is all about mental health and providing treatment and helping fund therapy and mental health treatments for those that need it. So fantastic charity. Yeah, and uh, the, yeah. the charity started off as a WoW guild way back in the day, which is really cool Hell because yeah. um, it's an excuse for me to stream WoW because I've been hopping back on the WoW <laughs> grind uh, Understandable. last month. Because we uh, all know you so need an Duke. excuse. Duke's been playing WoW, which is even more crazy, I feel like. Uh, Wait, expose game. me. And uh, <laughs> this Wednesday, the new content patch for World of Warcraft comes out, patch 9.2, with a new raid and a new a bunch of new content. So, I mean, what better excuse than to stream WoW than when we're raising money for a charity that started as a WoW guild? Fuck it, dude. Why not? It's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a good time. Mm. Oh, um, yeah. So, yeah. Other than that, uh, are we good for Divinity tomorrow? Yeah. Beautiful. And then uh, Thursday we'll have Discourse as uh, as per usual. Discourse. We're, uh, we're back at it. We're back at it. Um, with that said, I'm all out of announcements. I don't know if anyone else has something they quickly want to run by the class before we get going. Uh, you're, you're, you're cool. There we go. Nice. <laughs> My boy. <laughs> oh, I hate it. <laughs> Throw him out. He's yeah, oh, yeah, it's my birthday soon. Birthday, Yo, birthday week soon. Birthday? Dungeon Select birthday week. <laughs> oh, it's true. We have like... Is it... There's three of us in like yeah, five days. Three in mm -hmm. Oh my god, can we kill half the party in that Yo, fucking you guys, you guys get me anything for your birthdays? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, a couple of for, for my birthday... Oh my god! I was like, I don't know what um, Belle or Duke, if you guys are doing anything for my birthday stream, because... Uh, I, as the grandma of this group, and now we're gonna take it one step further. <laughs> I'm turning right. 30 Damn. next month. So we're doing 30. a literal grandma stream. I'm gonna wear a white wig. I'm gonna do old age makeup, and I'm Let's gonna go. do a 12 hour stream as Let's the go. Twitch grandma. And we're gonna play Banjo Kazooie from start and hopefully to finish. Let's go. Play one of the first games I ever played because I'm old. Game. And that's the Hell whole thing. Yeah. Are, are you gonna have a midstream knitting break? 
I can't knit, so I don't know. <laughs> What's uh, <laughs> love? Just, like, Is that gonna be in. like on your birthday, like on the day? Yeah, or? yeah, because my birthday's a Monday, so fuck, oh, it. Yeah. fuck Why it. not? I think I'm gonna do a 12 hour March 4th. Nice. Playing Elden Ring for 12 hours. Nice. So. Ooh, Elden Ring comes out this Friday. Oh. Okay, yeah. Good. Thank <laughs> God. I need Holy a game. Fuck. Um. Wait, I was gonna say something on the topic of of of, of that. Like, Birthday you, week. <laughs> you you reminded me of something that I wanted to say, and then it just left again, and that sucks. Love that for you. I don't. I really fucking don't. Um, uh, it was it related to birthday week, half the party, TPKing, uh, I love ring, twelve hour stream, grandma. Grandma. <laughs> I. It's gone. It's gone. Maybe, 30, maybe it's gone. come back to me. It's gone. I don't know. It it's must not be that important then if I forgot it that easily. Um. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's get to it. Last we left off, um, you were on your way to Lake Udina. Uh, made your first stop in, in uh, Southwold after encountering something horrific on the way there. Uh, an unspeakable horror, to be exact. Um, something wicked. This way it comes. Mm. Um, in Southwold, you met up with... Um, uh, Jolly, the barkeeper there, who uh, pissed off some uh, some some people, and they responded by burning her fucking tavern down, which you uh, oh, yeah. promptly uh, you you promptly found out who it was and took care of them non lethally. The first time the party actually non lethal uh, an encounter and and got people arrested. Is this? Character development, who knows? Um, no. <laughs> you then no. spent the night um, in Southwold, and it is now the next day, uh, and you're ready for the next leg of your adventure. It'll be roughly a three-day journey to get to New Daramuth, which is the next stop on the way, uh, unless Jax you know, does some map bullshit. Um. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you for calling my shit bullshit. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm going to go cry in the corner. But yeah, uh, it is now morning. Sun is rising. The birds are chirping. What do you guys want to do? I want to slink out early for the smell of the morning. Okay. My boy's got a date. Probably smells like fucking oh, burning bird. tavern, but I want to see if I can get into the basement <laughs> of that wreckage and salvage some good some good booze. Since um, that was our deal. Okay. So you approach the tavern. Um, there's no one there at this point. Uh, it's still like you you can definitely still kind of feel some like resonating heat coming from just like smoldering wooden beams and whatnot, but um nothing is actually burning anymore. Um, I'll already be awake, so can I just stealthily follow him? <laughs> just for fun. <laughs> um Yeah, I suppose so. I suppose so, because yeah, you you'll be awake probably. Okay, sure. Uh, roll a stealth check. And Kess is like, oh, plus 12 to stealth. Fucking she has a ridiculous stealth. She's pretty stealthy. Before. I get a lot of stealth. 14. Nice. 22. 22. Uh, make a perception check, Duke. Just to see, oh, okay. see if you uh, notice being followed. My perception's pretty good. If I had my character shit open, it would be better. <laughs> that would help. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold. Is he observant? Hold. 23. 23. Oh, oh barely! You're about halfway there, and you 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 hear footfalls uh, behind you, and you can see Kes trying her best to not be detected, but uh, you notice her as she's kind of like f following you, like shadowing you almost. Hello, Kesslyn. <laughs> oh, he's still naming you. <laughs> Hi. What, uh, what you doing? What's going on? Finding out what you're doing. I'm going to get some beer from the cellar of the tavern. <laughs> Since we agreed with uh, Jolly, of course. It was up for grabs if any of it survived. Fair enough. I was bored. I've been awake for ages and no one else has been awake. And I'm just, I'm tired of not having anyone to talk to when I'm awake. Okay, well, you don't have to stay 30 feet back, so, I mean, whatever. She's, like, skipping over. <laughs> <laughs> I just start walking towards the, the wreckage of the tavern. 
All right. Yeah. So, like I described, the tavern uh, is uh, you, you deem it safe to like start digging around in it. It's, there's still some res residual heat from some of the smoldering, like larger beams uh, that are just kind of la laying on the ground all over the place. Is there like, it, well, is there like a, a, a trap door to the cellar or the stairs down? Um, let me think. You kind of look around and. Part of the bar survived the fire, but definitely doesn't look that great. But you notice that there's a, like a like a cellar door behind the bar, like a trap door. Oh, I'll go I'll go give it a, give it a heave. Um, uh, yeah, you open it up. Uh, like as you open it up, uh, cell, the, the cellar door is damaged. Uh, some of the fire kind of got to it, and it's it's you basically pull it up. And one of the hinges got like completely like it burned completely around it, so you just like oh oh she, oh, she won't she won't mind oh, wait you 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 know a little bit of like the sort of weird shit that Jolly is involved in right we're not gonna find anything no. untoward no no in the cellar no no is it, it ladder or stairs. Else. Uh, Wait, what was it? Hold, hold on, what was hidden somewhere else? Do, like something in particular? No, just stuff. A figure. Just Probably stuff, still there. Figure. Yeah, I mean it's burned hidden. away now, but like. In the it, it was to... hidden in the tavern. Well, yeah. Well, when you say somewhere else, I was thinking like a uh, like it's warehouse outside of town. But you're saying that there was stuff hidden in this tavern. Yeah, of obviously. There's always stuff hidden in taverns. Well, right, but stuff that's hidden in a tavern might not be the stuff that someone like Jolly might hide in a tavern. Mm, that was probably the same stuff. <laughs> what, like secret enchanted crowns or whatever it was we were stealing for? Or no, like... that was never hidden like in the tavern. Where would that be hidden? It wasn't so much hidden as it just, like, gets sent somewhere. Where does it go? I don't know. Is it a ladder or stairs? Stairs. <laughs> stairs? Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to turn and head down the stairs. And All right. hope they don't collapse. Um, the cellar? Surprisingly little damage. The only damage you see is, like, the ceiling of the cellar, which would be the floor of, of the main bar. There's some, like burnt holes in it, uh, but like the cellar itself, mostly untouched. See, what this is This is why we make these sorts of deals, okay? Because I'm a genius, and I said mm -hmm. the fire wouldn't make it this far, and now we have free reign of an entire tavern cellar's worth of tavern cellar things. <laughs> that sentence ran away from you at the end, didn't it? Uh, well, I was going to say alcohol, but there's more than just alcohol down here. There's some rats. There Delicious. Are rats. There are rats. <laughs> I'm going to use my daily speak with animals. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to try and talk to the rats. Where the rats? Make an animal handling check? No. 17 plus. I think I have expertise in animal handling. Yeah, 24. Noise. Uh, one of the rats kind of like looks at you. Hello, ratty. <laughs> Hello, Yumi. <laughs> Anything interesting down here outside of casks of ale and wine? Mm. Some snacks. Well, I'm hoping for something more interesting, like. She's at the pantry for interesting things. That still sounds like snacks. <laughs> mm. Well, there is this hidden place in the pantry. Right. I had a is snack it... from there and it, it, um, started hallucinating. Oh. <clears throat> um, is it... How can I get there? Mm. Do I need to push some buttons or is it? 
Kess. Yeah. <laughs> you've seen this place in the pantry. You've, you've, you've. Yeah, I have. Yeah. Yeah, but Kess can't understand what no, I'm no, saying. No, 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 I'm no, in the no, corner, no, no, like. No, 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 no. <laughs> Making rat noises. The rat like looks at Kess. <laughs> seen her go there before? Alone? Oh, with um. With the with the red lady and um. The. Cat lady. Tattletail. Interesting. <laughs> Living up to its name. Fucking <laughs> okay, rats, dude. So. Was it a drink or food that you ate? It was a drink. Right. I saw a loose thing. It killed one of my friends, but. Oh, that's <laughs> terrible. I'm I just had a lost. bad stomach ache and I threw up a lot. Oh. But I survived. <laughs> Never doing it again, but I survived. Smart rat. <laughs> what, co do you, what color was it? Green. Oh, well, we all know what green means. <laughs> uh, right, well. <clears throat> um. Thanks for the help. Is there anything I could give you in return? Maybe snacks. You've... Well, you've got <laughs> snacks down here. That's what I was, I was going to give you snacks, but now I'm thinking, well, this whole place is full of snacks, so snacks. maybe you want more snacks. Okay. Want more snacks. All right. Uh, what have I got? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him. I don't just want to give him rations, but it might just have to be rations because I don't know if I have anything else. Um. Yep. I will just, I'll just put a ration pack, like, unfold a little pack of rations and put it on the floor. Thank you. Uh, do I, can I see where the pantry is from where we're standing? Uh, no. All right, let's, let's split up, Kes. How about you start with the wine over there and I'll start with the ale over here and we'll see what's, you know, carryable because we don't, we can't take a massive barrel, but. Okay, so you just want me maybe. to check for things that are carryable because I don't yeah, like, have any clue how wine works. What's well, it will be in a bottle. No, I mean like, which one is good? Well, that's oh, what's yeah, very no, picky. <laughs> Do you know his preference? I know well, he is partial to a bit of wine in, but I don't know his wine preferences. If you know what I'm probably okay. white. I was going to say, I definitely made this mistake before, like 10 episodes ago. <laughs> I 100% know it's red. Just... <laughs> red. <laughs> don't pick white. Don't cry. The, there's, a, there's a difference between what Bell knows and what Kess knows. <laughs> and what Kess knows. And or what, what Kess cares to say. <laughs> well, what is Kess just playing a prank? Some white wine does have sort of a golden look to it, right? So maybe that's exactly. something to do with it. You know, is... <laughs> um, all right, yeah, just, you know, grab whatever if looks you, fancy and I'll... If you, if you mix white and red together, does it just make it better? <laughs> isn't, there like a, isn't there a pink wine? I assume that's the same I assume thing. it's just like white and red mixed together. Maybe we should just do that. This pains me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't, no, don't, don't do that because we need a third empty bottle to do that and that's... You just pour some of it out and then some of it in. We, we're not going to sit Very down and mix in fucking wines for hours on end. True. We can do that later, whatever. Just uh, grab a bottle of each or something. Okay. And I'm going to, as Kess heads away, start looking around for a pantry. Uh, Make a perception check. Nine. <laughs> you don't see anything that looks like a pantry down here. Um, how distracted is Kess looking at wines and mixing she wines? She is not very distracted. She is mm. kind of like keeps looking over at you. <laughs> I'll just playful, not playfully, but like try and play it up that I'm looking at all these different ale bottles while like checking the walls. I'm like, oh, is that, is that ale? Oh, is that... <laughs> <laughs> just, just start, you know, just figuring out Get my bearings. Um, mm -hmm. I'll pop a couple bottles of beer in my backpack. Why not? Uh, um, make um, make an investigation check. Fuck it. With 
advantage because of my glasses. Which is good because that's a 15. Okay. You find two bottles of mead that uh, nice. you reckon are pretty good. Uh, you also find like a smaller like barrel of uh, of ale. It's 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 not like a big barrel. It's one of those like barrels that you could easily set up on the bar, put a tap in it, and it's kind of like it's like a, an under. You can definitely like under the shoulder carry that thing if you wanted to. Little keg, a small keg. Yeah, like yeah. Keg, I'll pop yeah. I'll pop the meat in my backpack and then I'll pick up the the keg and mm. I'll just call over to Kess like I'm just gonna put this uh, put this upstairs so we can you know get rid of it later and I'll start. I think I'm done. Open up the stairs. <laughs> so I would just go upstairs and. You, uh, See if anyone else is awake. Take any bottles, Cass, at all? Yeah, it was around there. Make an investigation check. That was actually really good, even though it fell out of my hand. My dexterity is really good today. Um, Dirty 20. Uh, you find a case of four bottles of red wine. Okay. And you also find two loose bottles of white wine. I will take them. <laughs> Somewhere around here, I have a black pen, but I can't find it. So I'm using a pencil. Excellent. As we get upstairs, I will set the... I'll just put the keg down on what remains of the bar and then mm -hmm. head down, I guess. Are you going back down? Yeah, since Kess said she was leaving. Okay. Are you leaving, in fact? She is there like anything left of the bar? Much? Uh, there's like a partial bar still standing, yeah. She's like perched on that, just like kicking her legs back and forward. Okay. <laughs> well, now she's not there. I'm gonna have a more thorough look around the basement while she's there. Okay. Uh, make another investigation check. Investigation. Mm -hmm. Oh, dirty twenty. You look around and you don't seem to see any. Um, and exits or doors or anything down here. So okay. if there is a pantry in the building, it's definitely not in the cellar. Okay. Um... Uh, Kes, can you can you go see if uh, anyone else is awake? I'm, I I want to grab one of these uh, barrels, but I think I might need Brooks to sort of help me get it. We already have one in the car. Yeah, but can you we really like carry another one? Yes, well, yeah, sure. I mean, um, Brooks wasn't going to say no, is he? He might. Well, we won't know until you go and ask him. Okay. I think it's stupid, though. She'll go back to the okay. to the house. As soon as she leaves, I'm going upstairs. I'm looking for a <laughs> uh, When you go upstairs, there is a, 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 like a way into the kitchen. Right. And a staircase that goes upstairs, but that is completely like like collapsed and burnt to a crisp. Yep. And where where's the pantry? Well, if you enter the kitchen, you do see that there yeah. is uh, a pantry. And it, does it look ordinary? Is it an ordinary pantry? Make an investigation check. Oh come <laughs> on, my investigation is very good. I'm I'm banking on these glasses. Man. Yeah. Oh, 21! You notice that there's a small switch uh, along the wall, and as you flick it, you can see that most of the shelves just, like, rotate, and a bunch of other stuff just appears from, like, inside the walls and stuff. Um, you find... You can see just around you a couple of healing potions, some, some flasks of poison, um, crossbow bolts... Arrows, um, thieves' tools. Uh, does pushing the button set it all back? Uh, yeah, if you flick the switch again, it's, uh, it like restores itself. Oh, man. Mm, I'm, uh, no, I'm not. I'm not going to take anything. <laughs> I'm not going to take anything for now. I'm going to. 
grab the keg for, that I left on the bar and I'm going to head back. Okay. It's so Jolly's house, right? That's where we spent the night. It wasn't her house. It was just the house where the people that burned her tavern were like squatting, basically. Right. right yeah, we right, took right, their yeah. house. Um, okay, so you head back. Cass, you'll arrive a few, uh, like like five, ten minutes uh, before um, Davian does. Um, what do you do? I, I'm assuming Brooks is still asleep. Well, at this point, people yeah. will—it's like people slowly start to wake up. So I'll be awake by the time you get back. It's up to Ethan if he says Brooks is probably still sleeping. Brooks around. is usually the last awake. <laughs> there so. you go. Okay, so like crouches in front of him and just starts shaking. I'm like Brooks, wake up, wake up. How aggressively is she shaking? As aggressively as she can, which is not very aggressively. <laughs> she is not strong. Noodle. Brooks arms. has had a lot to drink and is like. Hungover as shit. She like slaps and... his face a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> as she comes back, I see her doing this. I'm just gonna take my meerkat plushie and hold it like right in front of his face. So when he opens his eyes, first thing he's gonna see is just a stuffed meerkat <laughs> face, just looking at him. Like the beady eyes. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> what do you want? We need you to carry like a big keg. Not even fucking awake yet. Oh, Coin. Uh, I, I could just put it in my bag. <laughs> oh, I don't no, know. I was okay. told to come and get Brooks. I'm awake. Oh. Oh. Yeah, no, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? We're going to the tavern. There's like a bunch of kegs still left. Hey. No. Not <coughs> against alcohol, but are we really raiding the fucking remnants of a down tavern from someone? See, that's what I said, but no, friend. that's not what I said. It's well, close to what I said. Well, I'm pretty sure we negotiated to get as much alcohol as we wanted. Mm. Yeah, I, I assumed it would be a few bottles, but... <laughs> I There's mean, also with some wine. There was no... Specifics, as the Lazarus would say, there was no contract. I guess we'll go have a look, which obviously upsets me deeply. <laughs> <laughs> there was some wine though, so you'll be happy about that. Oh, red or white? Both. So we kind of mix them together. No, we do not mix. We do not. Mix <laughs> oh, are you trying to make rosé? Yes. That's not how you make rosé. Oh dear God! <laughs> These do not mix. Would it technically be Cut. a pink wine? I don't give a fuck. Don't touch the red. <laughs> <laughs> What there red did you get? Red. And I'll just I don't know, like, there was like look a at the red wine. Any any good red wine, or is it all pretty middle of the road? Uh, the labels. Um, yeah. Ox wine. <laughs> it's all fucking Frenzia. cooking wine. Uh, it's all fucking cooking it's wine. Cooking okay. wine. Yeah. <laughs> you, um, you, you look at the label, and it's 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 a very generic label with just like some some like grapes, and uh, it mentions house wine. House it, it mentions uh, house party wine. It mentions um, Blossom Hill. That it's it's <laughs> like the kingdom's the kingdom's wine, and then like there's oh, like a little okay. asterisk. It's like, mm, yeah, so, so. <laughs> it's, not great. it's it's just supermarket wine. It's your <laughs> Aldi, ye old Aldi. <laughs> no, it's not quite Aldi. It's Sainsbury's. <laughs> Pretty much, not great. Yeah. That's I mean, it's better than. Shit wine. A little bottle. That's fine. Okay. I imagine looks at it and pretends it looks a bit nice. And he says, oh, yeah, it's, a, it's a vintage. <laughs> it's a vintage. It's a vintage. Somewhere in the world. <laughs> Does that make much of a difference? Yes. But, you know, you just go to a proper vineyard for some expensive wine. I've never been to a vineyard. Yes, I've been to a Different. vineyard, but not a vineyard. <laughs> Same difference. I hate you. Anyway, did you find anything else? Or um, I mean, I think like Davian was talking to a rat, so I'm assuming the rat told him something interesting. But like, I can't I'm speak curious. rat. Wow. Maybe he just Fair wanted right. a friend. Maybe it doesn't make Onu too jealous. 
I wonder if it could I'm sure it wasn't anything rat. serious you have <laughs> Could oh, only be rat. a rat. I assume so. Why did my shit freeze? Yep. What the fuck? Sorry. <laughs> Is Davin back as well? Or just no. At this point, Davin will probably be... be, be uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm at least on the way. Yeah. Are you just abandoning all hope of kegs? No, I just got distracted and kind of forgot about it, so I just wandered back into the, well, don't into you the have house the mead? With, with the one keg and the bottles of mead that I have, yeah. like, yeah, just like, put the keg down. That oh, was the keg you wanted Brooks to carry? No, this is the one I left on the bar. I was, oh, okay. I was thinking like a barrel, you know, like, right. Yeah, Bro have one of Brooks. Those? Um, should we get another barrel of ale? There's a, there's a lot down there. <clears throat> as much as I want to say yes, are we even going to be able to take the card as far as we're going? No. At some point, well, we're we can hide to... it. You know, we no, can... but we're we're going to have to or stash the card at some point. Why? Which? Actually, that's a good point. Are we going to stable it? Ah, uh, we can't Under go disguises. into New Daramus. Why can't we go into New Daramus? Well, he can't go into New Daramus. Well, right. Point, point at Alazrin. <laughs> we we so. can't spend too much time in New Daramus, I should say. We do, a few of us are planning to go in. I don't know if we'll stable the cart. But can we trust... No, I'm not talking bad about stable hands, right? But <clears throat> if I was a stable hand and someone stabled a cart with two massive barrels of ale, I would be very tempted to just, like, sneak little bits at I a mean, time. what you can do is, when you're in New Jeremiah, sell the ale to a local tavern. Maybe we just ask Jolly if we can have yeah. some of it when we come back, because we've got enough to last us while we're traveling. Rather than making all the fucking effort putting it on a cart to then bring it back as we come past. And then we've got to sell it. If we do well, I'm sure we can sell drink it. it. And our last one won't even be there, so either way, however much we sell it for, he'll bitch about it. I also don't know I how well don't you care know, how Kaff much you sell or, it for. Or someone else would take it if we turned up at their tavern with a keg, like a, a barrel of ale. It might not go down well, so. I'll take your word for it. Sure. Fine. I'm not saying we don't take it, I'm just saying that maybe we wait until we come back. Yeah, and well, drink it if I was we... jolly, and I was trying to get back on my feet, I would probably try and keep it. So I'm just trying to, you know, by virtue of our genius verbal contract yesterday, trying to cash in while we can. Uh, but a barrel might be too much, but we've got that fancy bag. We could just stuff some things in there. I, I mean, we've got wine, we've got... A, bar, a, a keg we've got I've got shit like <sighs> yeah I've got some mead is it any good I don't know I didn't drink any just chucked it in my bag it's like 7 in the morning yeah I guess um, I don't know I, I he had to remember that 7 in the morning was not a socially acceptable time to drink like you just reminded him a little bit it was more I was questioning why the fuck I'm awake at this point. Because uh, I shook you awake. No, thanks. Thanks for that. I. You're welcome. I think as tempting as it is to take a big fucking barrel now, it might be better to not take the piss disagreement in terms of fostering good friendships. Now, did we say... We said specifically we would only take things from the basement, right? I... Don't... You probably I should don't have think got so. it, you I should have got it in writing. I mean... Probably should have. See, this is why I did keeping things in writing is perfect. I did find some other stuff, but not in the basement. Like what? So I don't... Just... You know, think things that might be useful in the kitchen... Food. Derelict? Yeah. Just, yeah. A cast iron pan? A... Uh, Surely those would yeah. all be burnt to shit. Cast iron. Well, actually, cast iron, iron is very resilient. Is it? 
Absolutely. A, a, a cast iron pan is likely the thing that would be the last to survive the house time. fire. Yes. I was just, I'll just look. I'll just look at Kess and I'll, I'll just say there are some things in the pantry that survived, like you know. The rat told you, you didn't. Keep in a pantry. Mm -mm. Yeah, said a lot about snacks. Some of that killed it, probably, or a friend, a friend rat. <laughs> rats have friends, or do they just like family? Well, rats can't eat some things, right? So, am I hallucinating? No. I wonder the rats was. <laughs> we Point is, if that's stuff you want to take, I can probably get. I'll just tell Jolly, and Jolly will be fine with it. Will Jolly be fine with it, or is this going to be like giving us a horse and cart? It's fine with it. Where I, we, we can I, take as, it, but then in two weeks we'll be contracted to steal a crown from someone who's in prison. As Davian says that, I just reach into my like bag and hold out three vials that will probably match the green liquid he saw in there, <laughs> and probably look identical. Shall we yeah. just put them back? Olive oil. Mm. <laughs> just. I think that's green. But. It's really, we, really we, early pressing. That's why it's so good. Did we so not agree virgin. to just take alcohol? Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, you, you know, might already said. I didn't agree to anything. So. I didn't really feel like it was worth it when we already had alcohol to take alcohol from someone that I would rather have owe us a favor. But I agree. But I... for the it... other stuff, me and Dagan have a different deal in place. My I mean, overall, I think we're getting a bit early. distracted. I kind of got a... <laughs> things to take care of. I did shoot a guy with fire last night, though. That you did was impressive. Pretty cool. I mean, slightly worrying in a weird way, but impressive. Yeah. Well, well, uh, well uh, it's great. I mean. We still don't know the extent of his powers and how controlled Nah, yeah, you always have to find there's... a problem in everything at last one. Uh, right. well, it's almost oh, like, on, if on. we don't, we suddenly get fucked over. You know? Mm, you're the only one being pursued by, like, a weird cultish... True. I was more also, thinking was in general <laughs> terms, but sure. You cast fucking magic yes. domes and, and set people and on those, fire and... and how many times have they have gone wrong and you know destroyed trees and all the likes well that didn't go that wasn't it going wrong uh, that was it going very that. right it was just was it going was very a little right. bit off. we don't know that for sure and the just tree I was on purpose okay we well yeah be a bit more careful I don't careful. know who Joaquin is <laughs> And I saw oh, your yes. fucking sacred flame and ants nest. So if you want to go <laughs> picking fucking yes, oh, cherry big little incidents, all right, fucking while that's they're that's while the they're, they're arguing, mm -hmm. fire. I it. just want to sign to cast. I don't get it. We all just kind of are learning to do new stuff as we go along. Why is this concerning? Like no one seemed that nervous when I just popped out ghost arms and I didn't get interrogated. You're right. You're right. And anyway. like when I start being able to like summon a sh sword made out of darkness, that was fine. For cool, this carries on. Do cool. we have anything actually important we need to do here before we leave? Yeah. Before we no. leave? Cool. No. Okay, no. Got a jungle I'm, remedy. I'm, I'm yeah. gonna go get back in the cart and go back to sleep. Fuck you all. I'm coming <laughs> with you. Uh, oh my and, god! And no, <laughs> I, no, 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 <laughs> Kes, I need you to talk to Jolly so we can get. The snack. I just, I just raise my hands. Yeah. Dagan can't talk. She can I, I, I just flip off. I just flip off Davian, and, and then I'm like, and I and to cast. It's like clearly he doesn't know that Jolly knows sign language, and I say that in sign language. Dagan finds ways to say way more than she needs to. That's Are you saying Dagan Jolly. talks too much? She's on the road. I'm saying Jolly. she talks much more to me than she does to you guys because I barely repeat most of what she says. I nod at well, that. <laughs> and if well, I do, whoever I sometimes, can convince like, Jolly to give up. us that pantry full of goods, uh, would, that would be greatly appreciated. Because there's stuff in there that would cost us a very pretty penny from pretty much anywhere else. Mainly the health potions. That's what I was thinking of. The healing potions that were in there. Yeah. I'll just give a thumbs up. 
Thanks, Tygen. <clears throat> For free, she'll give us. She'll just give us them. Yeah, I nod. Yes. Fucking right. Uh, well, in the meantime, um, I guess we'll get breakfast. I mean, I was just gonna ration it today. I don't know how many I've got left. I gave one to the fucking rats. You gave an entire portion of rations to a rat? Not the one rat. There's more than one rat in that cellar, right? <laughs> but you were only talking to one of them. Yeah, but I'm, as soon as you left, there was swarm in it. Ah, so. uh, okay. <laughs> Do you know what a rat king is? A king are of you, rats? Are you saying you're now king of the rats? No, no. I'm asking if you know what a rat is. I do we need to is. bow when, to his majesty. It's when there's a bunch <laughs> of rats and they sort of, you know, they they live in a close space and their tails become tied together, essentially. They get sort of interwoven around like dirt and, and whatever else. And all their tails get conjoined until there's one just mass of rats that are all joined at the tail. That's I've what, never seen that. I have seen like a big swirling ball of snakes before but not rats well that sounds like water they were like really big snakes as well it was kind of rat, weird a rat king is lots of rats all with the tails stuck together usually they don't live very long or you'll have a couple hanging off that are dead but they'll get eaten by the others and then they'll get stuck somewhere or something and die but anyway lots of rats is what I'm saying they were loving it uh, you know bit of dried whatever's in these rations eating nuts maybe mm. That's so, you guys going to go fashion. talk to Jolly and see? Yes. Well, cool. I feel like she probably doesn't have any interest in what I have to say. No. Nah. But, um, Most people don't. If Dagon's got... I barely do. <laughs> Just kind of turn on my heels and go get the heart <laughs> ready. <laughs> so, where where is Jolly? If she wasn't at... She's the, at... They didn't see her at the wreckage. She didn't stay here with us. At... She's at our uh, house. house. True, okay. Did you tell us where that is? We went there for dinner. Yeah. Okay, then I'll just I'll just head there then. Okay. I'll go with her. <laughs> you uh you get to Jolly's house, uh what do you do? Just knock on the door. Uh you knock and it's uh it takes a couple minutes, but eventually you start hearing some shuffling, uh and the door swings open and you can see Jolly, still rubbing the, the sleep from her eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, good morning. Good morning. We're about to leave, but before we left, we just wanted to make sure it was okay if we took some more, like, healing potions and stuff. We're kind Any of, of in a survived? rock and a hard place, because Davian kind of saw it all this morning. He went and he did some poking around, so he... He, he he wants the, the potions and we said that we could, if we asked nicely, we could get them, so. Why are you going to seem like a knock? Alright. <laughs> I am just, uh, yeah, sure. Feel free to grab some, but don't uh, take the piss, alright? I didn't... Oh, no, of course not. By the way, um, how attached are you to your um, drunken friend? Brooks? Yes. If you're asking whether I'm we're going to tell him stuff, no, no, my like how attached, you know, say something happened, happened to, to him. <laughs> Do you know? Be annoyed. Something? Well, no, but that kind of slipped up in front of him, and he started grilling me about it, and I don't. Oh. Think he his mouth. Oh, oh no, it's true. fine. I was gonna deal with that anyway. It's fine. Yeah, they didn't ask us much when they didn't ask us anything actually when we said we could just have the potions if we asked. So I don't think they're gonna be too. We can we can keep them from. Trying too hard, come up with something. I'm good at dodging questions. Okay, because I like you guys, so I don't want to stage an accident. No, it's okay. So feel free to grab something from the supplies. Uh, just don't, don't overdo it. He only asked okay. about the potions, so I was planning on leaving everything else. Because yeah, I don't need any more thieves tools or anything. Like yeah, that. if there's any or... surviving potions, sure, feel free. There's right. fancy arrows. No, I should have asked. You didn't ask. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we'll see you again soon then. Yeah. Probably. Thank you for um. Unless we die. The help. I uh, I'll be in Eldilon for the foreseeable future. Um. So if if, okay. if anything happens or you need me, uh, it's likely you'll find me there. Uh, depends on how long you guys are away, of course. But okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna go back to bed for a little bit. 
All right. See you Any later. Did my alcohol survive, by the way? Yes. Yes, there's some kegs still there. That yeah, seems fine. Beautiful. Quite a lot. I should probably get to that then before uh, people in the town start sniffing around. Mm. Okay, thank you. Okay. Never have a safe, safe trip. Head into the, the remains of the tavern. Okay. Yep. Uh, you head there. Um, I mean, you know, you know where to go. So you open up the pantry and uh, you look around and you fi eventually find that switch and all the like shelves start <laughs> sinking into the wall and out of the wall a new set of shelves comes and there's a, a plethora of things. Vials of poison, some potions, uh, arrows, bolts, thieves' tools, acid, all kinds of stuff. How many healing potions are there? Two normal, one greater. Alright, we'll take them, I guess. Yeah. And leave everything else, and she said, don't take the piss, and Davian didn't ask for anything, and I don't want to take more than that. Roy team, so yeah, you'll find two normal healing potions and then one greater healing potion. Cool. And then go back to the cart. All right. At this point, the cart will be ready and everybody will probably be waiting for you two to uh, get there. So you hop on and then... Um, Sirin sits at the front with Davian, I guess. Cool. Um... I'll take out my cartographer's map case. Go for it. And uh, it's going to take us a full time journey, guys. Woohoo. Three, oh, three, day, day. hey. three day trek to New Dermoth. Come on. <clears throat> All right. Well, we're not going fully to New Dermoth. Well, yeah. Oh. Like in the, yeah okay. It would take you full, three full days to get to like the city limits. Is what I'm well, saying. some of us will be. So, yeah, either way, we've got to make it to the front gate. Oh, um, when we get back, but before we get back, I'll ask Kess uh, if, who would we want to give the potions so we probably need to give at least one to Davian because the whole point was he asked about going back and getting them other than that do we just ask the group or are you holding on to them I'll I'll sign back um I think I'll keep the greater if you're okay with that and then we Fine can give me. out the other to whoever needs it yeah I I already have two regular healing potions so I'm good to distribute them to others oh. Maybe we give Davian the greater, and then he'll be, he'll feel better about that. Uh, I'll hand Davian one of the normals. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Good enough. Okay. Uh, there's another normal oh, true, yeah, healing potion for anyone who needs it. I'm quite well stocked, thank you. I am asleep. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> I look at I look at Jax and just raise an eyebrow. And, like, not at the potion. I'm good at it. I have a few of my own. Just you keep it for now, Kess, and if we one of us uses it, we just repent whoever needs it next. Okay. Just easy that way. Okay. I will, um, kind of make myself in the in the cart. I'll kind of, like, already be getting used to being hunkered down and kind of just, like... <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, just I'll be sitting in a corner, like just not like on top, just trying myself. So it's not like suddenly out the blue. Yeah, it's like benches, down, it's right? Just, like I'll just yeah, be like, it's like two, like a, a bench on each side, pretty much. Like, yeah, I'll just so be on just like sit on the floor with your back against the sort of, bench or something. Yeah, yeah, you know, maybe like my, like my roll mount or some shit behind me, just to like as like a pillow. Okay. Um, you head out, and um, after a few hours, you find uh. Ahead of you, uh, Davian, you'll be the first one to see it, together with uh, Siren. Uh, some, what seems like corpses, just sp across the road. Mm. Whoa! Was that, yeah. Stop the horses and... Well, looks like we've got bodies in the road. Looks like it, anyway. I'm gonna start, like, shaking Brooks and, like, hitting him in the face again. <laughs> <laughs> Brooks, I wake up! <laughs> Stop! I can go check them out. There are corpses on the road. There are corpses? Corpses. I'll uh, activate my oh. armor and jump out of the cart. Okay. I'll give Odo a nudge on the bodies. To stop flying around. All right. But I'll just go up to the closest one and kind of like nudge it. Uh, it's definitely dead. <laughs> okay. Um, human, can I find a wound on it somewhere? Humans, yeah. What was that? Sorry? Are there any wounds on it? Um, As you kind of uh, make a medicine check, actually. 
Oh, what is this? Underused chest. Oh, wisdom. Okay. Are they in the middle of the road, Dirt? Uh, one of them is just like on the middle of the road. One of them is like slammed against a nearby tree, and the tree kind of cracked, so giving you the indication okay. that whatever slammed that person against that tree had a lot of force behind it. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is I'm there any like? The of the road, so. Is there any debris or anything from like a car or anything like that? Or uh, make an investigation check. Uh, what uh, you for your you 12. 12, you kind of like lift up uh, the guy's shirt that you're looking at, and you can see there's like these, these heavily bruised chest. It seems that whatever killed it, it's it's it just it bludgeoned him to death. And I see if there's any tracks or anything, or... Seven? And... Eight. Eight. Um, yeah. Was that cover? And see if there's any tracks or like anything that like can see how long ago this all happened. Make a survival check. I'm going to uh, hop down to the front of the cart to the horses and just kind of like usher them backwards a little bit okay. so away from the corpses and then j I'm just going to knock an arrow on my bow and if anything yeah, busts Cyrano, uh, from we'll anywhere we'll I'm going to shoot that. it um, Brooke, she rolled an 8 yeah. you look around and you can definitely normal. see some like tattered pieces of, of like torn pieces of wood and some tattered cloth which could have been it could have been a cart Yeah, could have been a, a variety of other things but it could have been a cart okay cool uh, uh, roll 12. Roll 12, you find two sets of very large humanoid footprints, but like, very large. Any way that I can like, do they just look straight humanoid or do they look like they could be more like bestial or like, um, like, does it look like it's just a fucking big... No, it just looks like a very bloke. large human footprint almost. It's, it's strange. Like, so we made like just straight footprint or like boot print? Foot. <laughs> yeah, barefoot. Yeah. No, 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 no boot or shoe. Like a fair, yeah, it's yeah, a, it's a giant. Or it's a. You find two sets. You, two sets of those. <laughs> Lycanthrope. It's the Sasquatch. No, it's bigger. It's it was bigger than Lycanthrope. <laughs> this is like this is. Oh, massive. this is like this is big, oh, big. massive. Do I see? Do Come they look with an enlarged? Fair? Like how I I will can I check the bodies to see how like fresh they are like how. Uh, make a medicine check. Yeah, you, you can see um, yeah. there's one where Jax is kind of like li like hunkered yeah. over and, and looking at, and there's one yeah. just like slammed against the tree, like off the, the road. The one slammed against the tree, I'll have a see how like. Okay. Obviously, it's been quite hard to tell because it's probably fucking everywhere. But can I loot the uh, one that I'm? Make an investigation checking? check. Yeah, sure. Okay. Will you <laughs> check? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Does... I want to just see like how fresh that like body got. Make a medicine check. Just, uh, twenty-three. Nice. 23? It's like the one thing I'm good at. Oh. You reckon this is this happened less than an hour ago? Ooh. Less than... Yeah. I kind of... I kind of... Oh. I just kind of go... Keep your eyes out, guys. This uh, seems to have happened... Quite... Uh, recently. I less than an hour. Oh, oh, go ahead. Hold on. What did you say, uh, Soko? I rolled a 25. To 25? Uh, you go through this guy's pockets and... Uh, you find a badge that shows that he's a part of, uh, of like he's an official like like empire sanctioned merchant, um, like a trader. Oh, I'm okay. I'm stealing Tra traveling, that. Traveling trader. Um, you find some letters in his back pocket that are just like delivery, uh, like delivery notes. Um, seems that they were on the way to deliver something, but there's no carts to be seen, and something got them before they could make their delivery. Okay. Then, as soon as the Lazarin says like this happened recently, I want to take out one of the my poison vials and just coat the blade of my spear preemptively. Okay. I'm gonna cast Major Armor on myself. Okay. I'm gonna start reading Those the notes to see if they have a common anything. theme or what right. they talk about. What'd you say, Duke? Does Onu spot anything? Make a perception check for Onu. Flying up above the trees. Oh, no. Uh, eleven. I think plus two. Let's see. Yes, thirteen. Um, Onu kind of swoops down to you and just starts like nodding in the direction of of uh, of of your like the southern woods. And as you kind of like look in that direction, you just hear the rustling and cracking of tree uh, branches and very heavy footfalls coming closer. It's, it's coming from the south. It's coming from the south, and I'm going to run, like, run 30 feet back from that edge of the woods okay. across the road and just 
get, get an arrow ready. Send only back up. Okay. 60 it's feet. Uh, 30 feet. Um, <clears throat> just make a quick... Uh, another quick investigation check, Soko, to, to see if you can, like, quickly spot any... Uh, anything on the notes. Uh, 13. 13? All you can tell from briefly reading it and then hearing there's something coming, so you kind of, like, have to pay attention, is that they were delivering yeah. a shipment of ores from Streatham to New Dartmouth. Okay. That's what their current okay. delivery was. Something right. tells me that a strength-based DC isn't going to help against a troll or giant or whatever this is. Um, so. <laughs> he might be a, they might be a really frail giant. Here it is! And you can see just a tree to the south is being picked up and just pulled away. Oh, and good. two hill giants just... Oh, good. Oh, <laughs> and, and they look at each other and just... Did anyone speak giants? No. Nope. No. <laughs> Funny enough. Okay. No. Uh, no. Okay, so you don't understand what they're saying, but one looks to the other and just goes, Look, ach, nicht was. And they just... Pick up the pace and just go towards you. Oh, no. You. Um, I'll, okay, more initiative. I know that Davian had an error ready, just in case, so I'll, I'll allow you to, like, um, I will, um, real quick, and then we're going as to finish I see, If I see them to start running, can I, can I fucking advantage my initiative? Fucking, what the fuck it's called? Uh, yeah, sure. Vigilant Blessing. Sure, 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 sure. Are you doing Advanced. a Vigilant Blessing on yourself? Yep, because I'm not fucking near anyone, really, uh... so I'm just there, like, fuck! <laughs> I can't see, I'm like, there's some giants! Holy shit. <laughs> so 15 to hit with the arrow, by the way. 15 to hit with the arrow? Hold on, let me quickly whip out the giant stats. That hits. Hey. I mean, they are Four. huge, uh, so uh, very, say very easy hits. <laughs> hard, yeah, hard to miss, but they might have thick skin, right? You yeah. Know. True, true. true. Um, um, truck. Why did I put my <laughs> character sheet? Okay. 7 plus 3, so 10 points of piercing damage. So you, just out of... Instinctively out of reaction, just like fire an arrow and just like hit one of the giants in its like large stomach. And it just kind of looks at it and just kind of just like wipes his hand down his stomach and the arrow. Yeah, don't love just, that. I would like you all to roll initiative. I already did, baby. Yeah. Oh, already did. You already asked, Dad. And quickly whip out Syrian's stats because I forgot mm. to open those. These things yeah. are probably going to have quite good constitution, aren't they? Mm. Fuck around no. and find out. What? No. I mean, we'll, we'll find out when I stab it with my poison spear. Mm. It's not a very high DC on basic mm. poison, so we'll find out. Yeah. Okay. Rolls a t there we go. Rolls a 10. Hey, 74. I just dropped my metal die on the floor and it was loud and it's scary. Oh, I forget to say on your first. That'll be one of the ones I got you. No, right. it's, the, it's the other one. It's the, the, you want big twabble. That's just a dent in my floor oh. now, you know? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's the halter. Love Drop that for you. Yeah. A halter what, Grover? I don't know, I just remembered, I just assumed Dutch was on the, on the higher floors, but I just remembered. No, I'm on the ground floor, actually. <laughs> yeah, but I just, I think I remember Dutch saying he's on the ground floor, so I was like, hold to the other part that's under his oh, upper stairs. Like, hell? There's like, a hole no, to, and then just, just like straight under me, pretty much. Oh. Hell yeah. Oh, someone's bicycle just got fucked. <laughs> fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Um... <laughs> Giant number one. Oh, natural one. The second giant. Them? Nice, dude. Yeah, hey, I'm not going last. I like that. Okay. What, Initiative what 20 plus. Name the giant? 28. Natural 20. Ooh. 28, natural Jesus. 20. Davian. I'm going first, baby. All right. Anyone else 20 plus? Okay, 15 to 20. 19. I got, I got 19 as well. Which would be who has the higher decks? Probably me. Uh, I have 18. I have a 17. Okay, yeah. Okay, so, uh, Daigon, Kess, what did you roll, uh, Koiba? 18. Daigon, Kess, and last run. Got a 16. 16. I'm still last, even with a good roll. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> yeah, <I'm> like, <laughs> everyone. So, what did you roll? 14. <laughs> and good. then we got. What was you have a lot of roll? Dexy Dex. people in the party. All right. So, with this that, Davian, bullshit. you're up first, so you just fire an arrow and just immediately are ready to, to, to go again. Legolas this shit. I... <laughs> I feel like... It's not worth it, but I'm just gonna give it a shot. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> and I'm gonna use my uh, longbow of Entangle 
to uh because they're, they're close together right yes so since i'm first i mean it's the best best opportunity i'm gonna get so i'm just gonna but is, doesn't pull back the bow about, string and uh, sizes does the entangle size of say anything about sizes uh da, 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 da. no grasping weeds and vines sprout from the ground 20 foot square range so if i guess if they're really big it might only be able to hit one but it doesn't say anything about sizes. It's a creature is trained by the plants to use this action, but yeah, no. Um, these guys are considered huge, so they take up a 15 by 15 foot space. So I'm saying you can only hit one of them, not both. If uh... Okay. Then one guy is about to get really, really restrained. Mm. Well, not at all, but... <laughs> Why not? <laughs> uh, does that involve like a roll or anything? or how does that? Uh... Yeah, it's a strength 13. DC strength. D DC 13 strength. There we go. Same thing. <laughs> uh, man, that's a 14. Oh, <laughs> so close. Yo, cutting what? Anybody? Hold on. <laughs> Yo, I actually classes? just took a level in Bard. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, so did okay. I. Uh, with that failing, mm -hmm. um, I need to mark off this charge, but Onu is going to swoop down. Oh, yeah. And fucking have at him, I guess. <laughs> With a natural 20 to hit. Yes. Whoa! Are you, uh, Let's go. sending Onu to the one that you previously shot an arrow at? Or are you yes. going to get one? Yep. Okay. Everything's focused on that one guy. All right. So. Cool. Uh, I don't have any D4s out. That's silly. With Mount silly. Mate? Big dum dum. All right. No whammies. Uh, oh, and it's a four, which makes it eight. Plus three, which is 11, plus two, which is 13 points of piercing damage. Very good. Damn. Oh, slashing damage, nice. sorry. 13 points of slashing. All right, so Onu swoops down and just, and just like swipes at, at it with his talons? Or like, what am I looking at? What am I, what am I, um, yeah. Yeah, just yeah, like yeah. swipes at the ogre with, or ogre, with the giant with, uh, with his talons and just whoosh, fucks off again, right? That's uh, kind of how yeah. Onu uh, does things. Nice. Yeah, he has a flight speed of 60, so he can come down. 30 and then fly back up 30 here. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. Is that your turn? Yep. That's All everything. Right. Daigon. Gonna. I'm assuming I can get to them, but how far away are they? Are they like like 30 feet away? They just came That's through like the, the right. tree line. Essentially. Um, gonna run up to the one that was that Onu dive bombed and Davian shot at and just try and wedge my spear in its leg or foot, whatever. Go for it. 19. That hits. All right, so the spear. I'm two-handing it because I'm assuming they're going to be thick-skinned. <laughs> so it's a D8. Um, seven points of piercing damage, and then it needs to make a constitution save because of the poison on the blade. Uh, 20, dirty 20. Oh, okay, yeah. It's a DC of 10 for basic poison. It's not hard. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> so it does not take poison damage. Okay. Right. So I just spear in his foot, and then I'm going to... Bonus action. Spend a key point to pop out my arms. Oh yeah. In case it tries to grab me. Um, and now it needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Six. And it's every creature I can see within ten feet. Does that get both of them? If I'm standing um, in front of or no, because they take up a fifteen foot. So yeah. Yeah, but I guess you could position yourself in such a way where you're like on this guy's like left hand side, so you can also be on the other. You know what I mean? So like, I'll say yeah, yeah. you can, you can. Okay. You can get both of them so yeah, they both yourself, need right? to make a dexterity save for me. Okay, so the guy that you previously attacked had a six. Okay. And the other guy rolled an eighteen. Okay, so the six one fails. So he takes oh, fuck. That's garbage. Three <laughs> points of force damage from my arms. Okay. Hey, man. I rolled a one and a two it's on the two dice. <laughs> All right, that's me. All right, done. Yes. Uh, these kind of humanoids? Uh, no. Ah, oh, okay, never mind then. I'm gonna hex with my bonus action first. Okay, uh, which one? Uh, the one that isn't entangled or wasn't targeted with entangled anyway. Okay, so the, the one, one no that, one's hit. There's yet. basically this one yeah, that's one. been targeted so far, and the other one has not been targeted at all. That's the only difference. Yeah, really. the one that hasn't been targeted. Okay, okay. Uh, what are you mixing with? What's the what? What's ability? Strength. Okay. Yeah, strength. 
Uh, and then I'll Eldritch Blast. Go for it. Ah, oh, natural 20. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, D10, D10. Nine, so 18 force damage and three thunder. Uh, did you double the die and then the roll for you? Yeah, I doubled the die roll. Uh, and I'm about to do the hex now. Oh, you haven't done the hex damage yet? Okay, okay, okay. I haven't done hex damage yet. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, eight for hex. Eight for hex? All right. Yeah. Boom. Eight no problem. All righty. Yeah. Is that your turn? That's my turn. All right. Uh, Elazrin. Okay. How close together are they? They're like That's shoulder it. to shoulder. Shoulder to shoulder? Can, am I able to get them both in a 20-foot cube without hitting any of my allies? I'm ruining that plan, probably. Um, well, they take like up 15. a f- like 15 by 15 foot space, so if he places it like... Behind-ish? Back, but like in front of you, it would still like encapsulate... Um, mm-hmm. You've just got to hit their ass cheek. Exactly. So yeah, it, yeah, with some creative positioning, you'll, you'll be able to... And how far away are they, roughly? Uh, they were they were about thirty feet away from like the middle of the rows. Okay, okay, that's cool. I'll um cast fairy fire. Okay. On them, I need to make a deck saving throw. Is that both of them or? Yes, yeah, so both of them. I'm gonna try and get both of them in it. If well, I can get in twenty foot cube. Uh, one rolled an eighteen. One rolled a three. The one that rolled a three mm-hmm. fails. Okay. Um, and everyone gets advantage against them. Okay, so the one uh, the one that Daigon you're in front of and already previously mm-hmm. attacked, and the one that uh, the one that didn't get targeted by Kess her uh, her stuff, uh, you can see this like glowing light kind of surrounding it, and uh, yeah. So this one's and then I'm just very go- fired. There we go. And I'm just gonna move. I'm gonna move away from the cart, just to try and like and just kind of be like try and central, like try and get kind of center, but far away from them, but just kind of, just kind of be ready. All right, my turn. Cool. Brooks. Uh, I will go up to the one that's hexed. All right. Which is the one that Dagon's not fighting now. Correct. I'm gonna bonus action rage because I feel like these boys might do a little bit of damage if they punch me. Uh, they're not gonna punch you, but you can see them just wearing this wielding this clubs great club larger yeah. than if you could stack yourself on top of each other like two and a half times, that'd be about the size of the great club. Time to squish us. I'm like okay. it's, just, it's, it's, it's gonna I have a feeling it's gonna hurt when they fly swatter us with these clubs. It's a big it's a it's a big stick. <laughs> Very big stick. So it's a tree, right? Pretty I'm much. gonna fucking <laughs> I'm gonna slip on the knuckle dusters okay. that Jack's made for me, and I'm gonna punch this guy in the fucking shins. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> fair. <laughs> okay, roll attack. Kind of messed up. Uh, that is uh, 16. That hits. Frick yeah. Oh, that's a shit roll. Uh, seven points of bludgeoning damage. Seven points of bludgeoning. Okay. And that's my action bonus action, so. Okay, okay. See what happens, I guess. Jax! Alright. I'm gonna. Is there a way I could position myself to where I don't hit anyone with a 15 foot cube, but I can hit both of them? Uh, are you the point of origin of the cube, or can you position. Can you just place the yes, cube somewhere? Yes, I am the origin of the cube. I guess you could like stand like shoulder to shoulder with Daigon uh, and you'll be able to, to do that, yeah? Okay, right, cool. I'm gonna run up there and I'm gonna cast Thunder Wave and I clap my gauntlets together. Hell yeah. Uh, Constitution saving throw DC 15. DC 15? Yes, sir. Uh, one rolled an 18. Fuck. And the other one also rolled an 18. Cocksuckers, okay. <laughs> well, I take half damage. Still better than no damage. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Uh, that's seven halved to three? three. Yeah. Damn. Yep. Three force damage to both. Okay. 
And then I'm going to use my bonus action to give, uh, what's it fucking called? Uh, I'm going to use my defensive field. So I'm going to gain four temporary hit points. Nice. Old defensive shield comes around my armor. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Hey, turn. Yes, sir. This first giant that uh, now has Amberjax and a Daigon in front of him <laughs> is going to just make two attacks with his great club. One is going to be to try and just fly swat Daigon to the ground. The other one is going to be oh, at you, Jax. No. The first one cool. uh, to hit Daigon is a 16 to hit. Just hit. Damn, I wish that one was to hit me. Fortunate. Um, My AC is 16 for now. For now. Cat, more like flat. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, you take 20 points of bludgeoning damage as you just get <laughs> fucking. <laughs> with this, Officially this, this, half this health in one go, baby. Big old, with this big old <laughs> stick. Um, Jax Oof. is a dirty 20 to hit. Ah, uh, yeah, that'll hit. Uh, you take 19 points of bludgeoning damage as this great club just swings down at you. Just... Cool. Cool. So cool. Lame. Yeah. <laughs> yep. uh, it is now cool. Sirin's turn. Sirin, she's that uh, you both just got fucking wailed on. Mm hmm. Uh, is going to bonus action Hunter's Mark. That one, uh, that one guy, so. And then. Just gonna fire a fucking arrow, isn't she? Yeah, she fucking is. With a uh, 19 to hit, so that does hit. Uh, so it's a d6 for the hunter's mark and a d8. 7 plus 3 is so 10 points of damage. There we go. And that's Siren's turn. And now the second giant, the one that has Brooks right in front of him, instead of focusing on Brooks, um, sees Kess and he digs his hand into the ground and just oh, picks up like just a like, like, big fucking chunk of rock and just one handed throws it at you, Kess. He's just pulling a Beast Titan <sighs> from Attack on Titan move. With Literally. Uh, Fucking... <laughs> uh, that's a 19 to hit. Fuck! <laughs> Yo, and he kind I of really warlock. enjoyed having a Warlock in the pie. <laughs> <laughs> so you can just Fuck see off. this just this big chunk of rock just flying in your direction, and there's just no Whee! way... There's no fucking way in hell you're dodging this one, so you just kind of brace yourself. I'm the Warlock now. And hope for the best. <laughs> This is just that, like, um, why, did the sun, why did the sun go out? <laughs> you take, you take <laughs> 20 points light. of bludgeoning damage as this rock just... 20? 20, oh my yeah. god. As you just get fucking Oof. floored by this big-ass rock. Hmm. Oh, shit. Uh, and that is his turn. So we go back to the top of the initiative. So, Davian. Mm -hmm. Boom. Hunts his mark on the guy, shot already. Okay. And I shoot. Go oh, which is a 26 to hit. Awesome. Was it the one you didn't get hit last time? Like, not much, but got very fired, right? Uh, no, hit? the one that uh, is being harassed by, by Daigon. Is, okay, uh, it's very fired. It's very fire? It's very fired. Okay. You get advantage. So, I guess, is that for range Not the one, one I shot. It's for any attack roll. Yeah, so that's also the one oh. that you shot. Uh, so, you get advantage any, on that. Uh, roll that in case of a natural roll. 20, well, I guess. It wasn't better than a 26. So, yeah. There you go. Uh, okay. And he is 100 mark. So, mm -hmm. extra D6. Four, uh, eight on the dice, plus, oh my god, three, so 11 points of piercing damage. 11 points of piercing damage, all right, not bad. Yep. Uh, and that's, that's my turn. This guy is uh, starting to look bloody now. Good. There's one fella. God. Is that your turn? Yeah. Okie dokie. Uh, Daigon. Gonna just take the spear out of his foot and just back and just kind of just like repeatedly just poking it and just like die, die, die. And just like trying to eventually maybe he'll fall over if I fuck up his foot enough, okay. you know? Uh 24. That hits, absolutely. 
that's not even in the dice tray, which is a shame because it was an eight. Um, what's the plus to that? So nine points of piercing damage. Nine points of piercing damage. And then, because that really fucking hurt. Uh, is that still poisoned, that weapon? I don't think so. I think it's used up after it's like it hits some once. The poison lasts for a minute, but I think that's only like it's you have a minute to use it. Let me check. Um, because I know like when you apply it to arrows, you can apply like three, applying the to poison three takes an two. action. A creature hit by the poison weapon must make a constant. Once applied, the poison retains potency for one minute before drying. It doesn't say it's one use, yeah, so no, I guess yeah, the, then it's it still lasts there. For 10 turns, yeah. Then yeah, make another Constitution save. On melee weapons, I guess it lasts 10 turns. Uh, but if you want to do ammo, so like arrows, you can just cost like three, three or four yeah, three like or some pieces, shit. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Uh, ooh, that's a con? Yeah. Well, I mean, he has a plus four, but a natural two is not going to save him, so that's a six. <gasps> He's going to take one point of poison damage. <laughs> Yay! Nice, Woo! <laughs> That's you. Shouldn't he get poisoned as well, He's or just take poison? No, damage? It, they just take poison damage. It's it's like a very basic, like ch low level poison. Sorry, Laura, um, that was one third of my damage to him last turn. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to take bonus action. I'm gonna spend a key point to take dodge as a bonus a bonus action with patient defense. I can speak because mm -hmm. uh, that hurt a lot. No, uh, do it but again. I hit and oh, yeah, in case it's just a crit. in case you can roll a crit, right? We can double no, damage. I didn't. No, okay, no, there you go. Alrighty, is that your turn? Yeah. Okay, Kess. As you just get up from having this rock just fucking pelted at you, what do you do? Uh, I'm gonna bonus action and drink a healing potion. Okay. Because two thirds of my health just got obliterated. <laughs> yep. Um, and then can I half cover behind the rock and just cast Eldritch Blast on it? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. Hell sure. yeah. The giant rock you just threw is now your shield. It's now yeah. my shield. <laughs> ha, yeah. You fool! You've given me cover! This man's How much do I roll for healing potion? Uh, a 2d4 plus 2, plus if it's the basic one. This man's about to make a rock tower because he's throwing another one just on top of it. It's just gonna be <laughs> 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 okay. That's the round. Three, seven, nine, eight, nine, healing. Okay, there you go. Nine, nine HP. HP. It's time. They're gonna be like, I get nine oh, HP and then uh, my attack. Oh, the big one. Oh, nice. Uh, that's like 20, dirty 20. That hits? I think. Yeah. Yeah, I'm right. That hits. Um, Okay, so hit. I'm assuming you're hitting this, the one that you hexed, right? Yep. Uh, four, four, seven, eight, four damage, plus three thunder, and six necrotic. So thirteen Jeez. points of damage total. All right. Yep. This guy now also looks bloodied. So both of the giants nice. look uh, look bloodied. Woo. Okay, that was worth it. Right. <laughs> okay, Later. that's my turn. Yep. Lazarin. Yo, I'm just gonna keep on like this be weird. Let's, let's see what a weird combat it's you guys weird, seem to be having it. You know, find some hill yeah, giants. Gonna... Fuck it, this be weird. Yeah, dude. fuck it, let's just be so quirky. It. quirky. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh my god. <laughs> so on the on the every one... time he casts, all you hear in the background is rawr. Good <laughs> three. Rawr. <laughs> 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 just I'm not like other guys. <laughs> I have anyway. a spork. Oh, you're too good at it. Not like anyway. clerics. Oh my god. Oh. No, I'm going to like cast um, blindness packet. on the oh. one that isn't very fired. Blindness, okay. Is that a con save or what is that? It's a con save, please. I'm hoping it just rolls low. Twenty-one. Fuck. <laughs> Ew. You can say so after wasting my turn because I can't Wait, hold, do anything. Hold, hold, hmm. hold. Holding. Holding. Holding on. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna use my reaction to cast Silvery Barbs. You just re-roll that saving throw and take the lower roll of the two. Oh. Okay. Twenty-seven. <laughs> it's the cantrip 12. you stole from me. He fails. There you go. There you go. Just jacked. So this guy is just oh. blind as fuck now. Blind. Yarp. No, that doesn't take I'm going to give on, advantage. Uh, attack roll stuff. Uh, I don't even know what fucking blindness does, but it's pog shit, right? It's just like... He's blind. Yeah, this is going on attack. Is, look, and it's is it advantage, advantage against him? I think it's advantage against him as well. Yeah. Advantage against him, he has disadvantage. The one... Fails any saving throw that requires sight. Okay. Yeah. 
So it's yeah. the one that uh, wasn't being attacked by Daigon. It's the one that you didn't fairy fire. Yeah. You basically got so one that's on very the, far the right, the, the right giant, the one that Kess has been kind of uh, been focusing on, you're going to see this like dark, cloudy, just like fog kind of covering his eyes. And he just starts to look around and you can, you can see him being visibly confused. Poor guy. Oh, mm -hmm. and uh, I'll give advantage to Davian. Uh, oh. On your next attack, ability check or saving throw, you have advantage. Nice. It lasts one minute. Uh, Thanks, and I'll just kind of stay where I am. I'm... Okay. Just kind of, again, just wait to see what the fuck is going to really happen. All right. Is that your turn? Yeah, yeah. So what Brooks. I'm going to, you'll never guess, hit the guy in front of me that's fucking blind. That's mm. crazy. With advantage. You're really crazy for that. Uh, so my first D1. Okay. Uh, natural 17. So, 22. Draw the advantage? Yeah, okay. I got a 16, no. 17. That hits. That is uh, 9 points of bludgeoning damage. 9 points of bludgeoning, alright. Uh, flurry of blows. Go on. <clears throat> uh, so, I'm gonna hit this man again. Go on, lad. Uh, 21 to hit. Yep. Fucking garbage rolls today. Um, six points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And third strike. Let's go, baby. Uh, nineteen. It's. Oh no, sorry. Uh, twenty-four. But. Yep. Uh. Fuck me! Another six points of bludgeoning. Damage. Okay. Very good. I rolled. On both of my flurry blows, I rolled a one on my fucking damage dice. That's uh, I'm gonna scream. <laughs> All right, is that your turn? Uh, yes. Jax. All right. I still have not said what I'm gonna do. Um. <laughs> I mean, I know. Uh, fuck it. I'm gonna just punch the right one with um, my gauntlets. The one not fairy fired. The one that's blind? The one blinded, yeah. Okay. You get fans from both of them, it's fine. Yeah, it's true. Really, yeah. yeah, well, I don't like this one. That's fair. I'm pretty sure that's the one that hit me. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't like his face. 19 to hit. That hits? I don't like his kneecap. Hell yeah. And that is 13 points of thunder damage. Ooh, okay. It's starting to look rough, dude. Damn. Alright, uh, that's my turn. Alright. The non-blind giant. Uh, I mean, there is just... There's a 10-foot range, so realistically, it can hit Diagon, Jax, or Brooks with that range. So he's going to... I'm just going to fucking roll for it, dude. Fuck it. Try. <laughs> Pussy. Is that safe First attack is instead? going to be on... Daigon. Second attack is going to be on Brooks. Cool. His attack on me is disadvantage because of patient defense. Okay. Nice. Uh, with his advantage, that is a... 15 to hit. Just misses! There you go. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Worth Brooks it. Worth is, the key point. Is that a normal roll? I think it's a normal roll, right? Uh, yes. No. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, he's blinded, but it's not. It's no, the uh, other one. It's the other one. Uh, 16 to hit? Uh, yes. That hits? That hits. Okay, okay. So you just look up yes. and you can oh. see just this big ass fucking great club. Just. <laughs> uh, you take. Where's me damage dice? Ah, uh, lad, where's me damage dice? <laughs> uh, um. <laughs> 18 <laughs> halves because you're raging, so 9 points of bludgeoning damage. She's gonna fucking shrug it off, mate. Not even bothered. Not even bothered, me. I ain't even worried about it. Alright, that's this guy's <laughs> turn. Sirin is going to... Flap snake uh, Keep firing at the, the Hunter's Marks 1, I reckon. Uh, it's a 13 to hit, which just hits. Wait, even the bonus? 
Oh, true, she has advantage. Still a third? Wow, I, did, I coibed. <laughs> I hate that's called being a coibed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I had it. Mm. Uh, for <laughs> nine <laughs> points of piercing <laughs> damage. You get coibed, mate. Boy would go. The second giant, who is now blind and slightly panicking, is. I mean, this fucking guy's a fucking dumb nuts, right? He's not very smart. No, he's not at all. Dig Ooh. out, dumb nuts. <laughs> he just starts flailing around. He's with just the gonna club. flail around with his fucking great club and hope to strike someone. So he's gonna attempt to hit you, Brooks, with his first one, with his advantage. That is a bitch. natural one. Never mind. Got worse. Go hit his friend. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sure. He's blind and stupid. <laughs> sure, fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. He's blind. He doesn't know he's swinging. He just fucking claps his homie on the back of the head with his club. Hold on, brother. Hold on. Uh, Good job, Koi B. You're about to give Dutch a how do I want to do this. 18 points of bludgeoning damage. Holy fuck. <laughs> Damn! And the, the guy just looks at him and is just in 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 giant just shouting at him. <laughs> uh, he's gonna try again. Uh, you're to, stupid. Literally. No, you're um, stupid. Let's try and hit Brooks again with his advantage. Nineteen with his advantage. Ooh. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, that hits. My AC is not very high. Um, 22 divided by 2, so 11 points of bludgeoning damage. Cool. Uh, I'm still fine. Hey, you're raging. It's raging, fine. baby. All right. Uh, Davian, yeah, your turn again. Um, man whose hunt is marked is, is going to eat shit this turn. Big time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bet. Uh, I still have advantage from Fairy Fire? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, 24 to hit. Mm-hmm. Make him eat shit. Coming in with that. Oh, six points of piercing damage. Okay. Um, pretty bad. But you have an Oni's coming down as well. Hell yeah. Also with advantage because of the fairy fire. And that is another natural twenty. Ooh, okay. Oh no. Damn. Oh no, kill it. Here we go. MVP like an extra for boost. another four damage on the D four. So. 13 points of slashing damage from the bird. How does Onu finish off this? Uh, yeah, this Onu. Oh, no. Go for the MVP. Okay. Onu is going to fucking for the rip fucking out arrow. an eye in each fat talon. Yeah. David and Goliath, but as, it's a uh, bird. As, as you see Onu swoop down, just tearing out <laughs> this hill giant's eyeballs. Oh. He starts just like flailing and just, and just oh. blood starts just fucking. And whoever's <laughs> under this guy, so Daigon and, oh, and no. Jax in this oh, case, no. just get a fucking shower of just oh, blood. Oh, like, that's <laughs> disgusting. Uh, make deck saving oh. throws, both of you. Oh, oh no. Dutch, I forgot to say the blind one needs to make a con save to see if it gets the like gets to every end of the turn. Dude, 22. That was so close. That huh? was like 22. So no longer blind. Yeah, no longer blind. That was in my dice tray. It like bounced to the wall. It like hovered over to the nat one and then went back to a 19. And I'm like, oh, oh. Okay. so that's a 25. You managed to duck out of the way as this fucking hill giant Dive. is collapsing. So does a zero save? <laughs> I love your minus like, X. It's so good. <laughs> Jess, you. Man, was it a natural one? It was, oh, it was natural two. Minus two. two. You, minus just two. Get, you just get fucking crushed and caught under this, like, lumbering <laughs> hair giant corpse. Uh, you take just nine points of bludgeoning damage just as his body falls on you, and you can feel your chest is being, like, compressed, and it's getting very hard for you to breathe. Oh, dear. Hex has done that thing in the no! cartoons where it's in the ground and it's just like fully, it's just a hole with like an outline of him. Um, with that though, uh, Daigon, it is now your turn. Uh, you like know that Jax is caught on that one hill giant. Yeah, but there's one I'm hill gonna giant go ahead. Angry looking around. I'm gonna go ahead and since I still have my arms up, so I can use the extra arms and try and pull Jax out from under the giant without hurting him. Um, so I get to use my wisdom instead of my strength yeah, because of so my arms. So make a wisdom check, I guess, in this case. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay. 13. You kind of like manage to lift up a part of the, the hill giant body, but it is very big and 
You kind of, Take you some kind deep of like, breaths while you can. <laughs> you kind of free up a bit of space for Jax to like in, be able to breathe, but it, it, yeah. it, it's not enough to be able to like get him to crawl out or anything. Okay. Um. Okay. Cool. I cannot <laughs> flurry of blows because I didn't attack. Um. I can't really do the same thing again as a bonus action, really. Um. Like, I'll let you say that, uh, you just keep a hold of it. And make yeah, sure I'll just stay there something. holding up the giant, hoping maybe on his turn, Jax, or trying to hold up so Jax can wiggle out, I guess. Okay. And that's... Yeah. I I will, because if the other giant does just see me there and try to hit me, I'll think he's smart enough, just in case I will spend a key point for patient defense again. Okay, sure. Cool, cool, cool. Alrighty, Kess. Eldritch Blast. Go on attack. Oh no! That's a natural one. Uh oh! You nice. just... I, I was beginning to enjoy this character. Fire <laughs> off your elder's blast, and it like slams into a tree behind the giant, and some of the like larger branches start to just crack and fall down. Uh, Brooks, make a deck save. <laughs> you really no. tried to make it look like an accident, huh? Oh, yeah. We're helping out Jolly, apparently. We're like, what yeah. if we just arranged Oops. the accident? Uh, I'm just I told checking. her I would take care of it. How quickly did you hire those hill guys? Uh, deck well. save. <laughs> deck save, yeah. Uh, very 16. talented. 16? Uh, you managed to like, yeah. just quickly like jump out of the way as this large... like, like Change of sense proper like limb of a tree pretty much just like <laughs> falls down and hits where you just were my bad <laughs> <laughs> just, just there like mid fight just in behind his head just <laughs> yo new party name the middle fingers because we flip each other off a lot and then we're a middle finger to our enemies because we're a pain in the ass new group name Kes, it else? sounds like a sexual technique. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Even more right. appropriate. Elazarin. That's it. How um how bloody is this like last one looking? Uh he's not looking too good. He's looking very rough. I will walk up to him mm -hmm. and I will cast inflict wounds. Ooh. Go on, lad. Let's fucking go. Natural motherfucking 20. Let's go. Oh, oh, I'm about to fucking get the kill. Do you even have to roll a dice here? I mean, probably because I could still. I mean, it's a minimum. Oh, it's a minimum. Of, oh, it's a minimum of six. It yeah. It's a minimum of six, six yes. and a maximum of sixty. Uh, that's quite large. <clears throat> Thirty-four points of damage. Thirty-four points oh. of damage. How do you want to finish him off? I just like I walk up to him and like. You could just see, like, I imagine just trying to look really cool about it, but, like, he's kind of, like, shaking a little bit as he's walking up to this, like, giant thing. I just, like, put my hand on it and just kind of crush down, and you see this, like, it's with, like, black and gold energy just go through, like, shoot up, and it almost, like, freezes him for a second, and he just collapses. All right. Um, he falls backwards, like, just into the tree line, takes a couple of trees with him as he just... But, um... You've defeated both of these hill giants. Help! I'm, I'm literally holding. Covers. I'm trying to hold it up, but I can't. I can't really call for help, so I'm just there. I still have a few uh, minutes left on the arms. I'll keep holding it till someone comes to help me. Where? What? <laughs> what part is Jack sticking with the giant? Pretty much like just like it's like torso, like the like the side uh, of the giant. I will go and assist Dagon in lifting. Yeah, I'm gonna run over as well since. Yeah. Um, I mean, I saw the whole thing happen with Onu being the one to kill it. Whichever one of you has like the highest strength, um, make a make a strength check with advantage. I as I'll really guide. Oh, as, uh, I'll guide Brooks as well yeah. as he goes over. Uh, I'm raging, so I'd have advantage anyway. Just but... don't roll on that one on this. Uh, eighteen. Please, yeah. God. Collective, collective, like, it was it, like, it was a low roll. Davian and and uh, little, little Brooks and ah! Daigon and anyone else that's helping. Styrian also like hops over there and tries to help. But like together, you you lift up the, this fucking heavy corpse uh, high enough for Jack to be able to wiggle his way out of there. 
after Jax is safely out, can I, the vial that I use, the empty vial from the poison, can I try and before their blood stops kind of flowing, try and collect some hill giant blood from sure. any of like those stab wounds or arrow wounds or something? Yeah, sure. I'll uh, give you a vial of uh, hill giant blood. Uh, yeah, I'll do my best. <laughs> Just scan. Would, Just would I know anything <laughs> that like, that I've seen for like recipes as like in trading and stuff for like anything that hill giants give for potions or anything or oh make an arcana check arcana fuck the toenails or something a couple of hill giant eyeballs do they fuck no i mean arcana five no uh i mean you do know that there's strength potions out there that are named after yeah. certain types of giants, but you have no idea if that actually requires God, a part of yeah, this or giant, just named or whether after it's just named after it because it makes you strong as a giant, you're not yeah. sure. So they're like, you can see them on that like, hill giant, there's a giant str- Oh fuck, it's probably just named after it, we wouldn't need anything for it, <laughs> fuck it, whatever. Just kinda... Well, we've got we've got two eyeballs if, if you need them. You know? yeah. right. Is I'm anybody injured? Anybody need a bit of healing? Yes, I please. raise my I'm, hand. If you, <laughs> if, you top, if you do sit uh, near the cart, I'll, I'll spend a couple of minutes and start doing a prayer of healing ritual. Okay. Uh, I'm not oh, doing yeah. We can get moving and you can do it in the cart if you want. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I'll just yeah. sit in the cart and... This yeah. is quite peculiar. Mm. Giants. What, what, two giants? giants coming out of nowhere? Yes. They're not native to this area that typically much further east where there are you think easy to ship giants around so i don't know just what? never seen I giants mean, in I mean, we, this province have too as much you ship, colonists but... call it Lead, no giants in keldar i mean let's cause no. there's something on them and i'll just before, I'll, I'll wait to cast the appropriate until we actually are moving okay um and i'll Kind of oh. like you can see, like I start to do my preparation. I go, yeah. actually, should we have a quick look to see if they've got anything on them? I doubt they will, but yeah, I well, they smash the area. cart or something, right? Looking yeah. for the goods from the cart that were mentioned. Um, <clears throat> you didn't see the, uh, where you were now, but you, you, the giants came from like south, like yeah. past the tree line. So, do the giants have any like pouches on them and stuff? I'll, I'll no, head all that direction, like, like a like a waist cloth okay. and like a. Okay. So, so, like, I'll, just, I'll just jump fur. back on the fucking cart then. Oh, I'll canvas the area a little bit. I want to take a little look. Wait, so did Elazarin do healing and I missed it? I haven't done yet. No, he didn't I, heal yet. I haven't done yet. I'm waiting until okay. we stop moving on the cart and then I'll do it. Okay, what did you say, uh, Soko? I want to just like canvas the area looking for the goods that were mentioned from Street Them. Can I help uh, him? Just like look around maybe. Are you going to like look past the tree line and kind of see where they came yeah, from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, maybe like a little like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. 100 yard lap around from wherever we were. Okay. Uh, you can ish. definitely see tracks. Or at least like the direction they came from. You can definitely see tracks. Oh, and all, uh, tracks and along now. the way, you can definitely like see just like scattered chunks of ore. Uh, kind of seem to. Yeah. They, they definitely took the cart somewhere and uh, just weren't very careful with it. Do Wait. So which way did they come from? South. What kind of ore is it? it? What was that, Duke? Sorry. What kind of ore is it? Uh -huh. Like iron or... Uh, what did you say, Duke? Oh, I just said even weirder that they would oh, okay. come from the south if um, they're not native to this province. Make a... Mm, ja I mean, I would say Jax would not hold his ores, given that he's a tinkering man. Uh, there's Metallurgy. a couple of different uh, ores. There is iron, but there's also... Uh, every once in a while, you'll find like a piece of silver ore as well. Um, and, and some ore that... I need you to make an arcana check. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right. Residual. What do hill giants eat? Rocks. Meat. Uh, <laughs> people. Us. People. And and animals. animals. Is anything. Uh, animals. That is a 23. Okay. Plus seven to that. There is this one piece of ore that you find that just like is, is kind of like humming and vibrating and it's kind of like softly emanating this like purplish light, um, which you don't initially recognize. Purple humming and vibrating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pick it up. Yeah. We sponsored by Adam and Eve. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And so much. Hitachi oh. or? <laughs> <laughs> Can we kill Brooks? Thanks. I'm, I'm just not acknowledging it. I tried. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll I'll pick it up and uh, just kind of pocket it for now. Okay. 
do you like kind of follow the trail or yeah i'll follow it to it... its end if they're like does it look like it leads it anywhere dangerous like where does it look like it's going if i was to just try and look ahead is it just into the forest are there hills into the forest um it's only a couple minutes out uh, if you choose to follow it, it it leads to what seems to be like a clearing of some sorts and you can find there the remains of two carts uh the remains of snacked on horses uh another two traders uh that got ba were like in the cart when the cart was picked up and just kind of uh, uh, also like missing body parts that have probably been consumed by the giants um <laughs> A lot of heaps of like ores, ores kind of scattered around, but it is it's that's a lot. It was two like carts, like wagons full of ore that just got yeah. picked up and just. Any more of the purple humming stuff? Um, make an investigation check. Okay. Any body safe silicon humming stuff? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> so <I'm sorry>. Seventeen. Seventeen. <laughs> you find one more piece. Okay. It, is the ore? organized in any way? Does it look like it's been intentionally piled up? Uh, It is just scattered around. Like, the giants just fucking okay. picked up the carts and just <laughs> tore through it and started eating the horses and the people. Okay. So they were more interested in the horses and the people than the ore. Poor horses. That's what, it, that's what seems, that, it seems that way. It seems that they were just okay. looking for food. Well, I imagine someone somewhere is looking for two massive carts full of ore. I mean, this can't be... A small uh, perhaps cost. we could mention it uh, as disguised people going back to town. I'm thinking there must be a bounty we can collect on this stuff. There, there well, that's what I figure. We could always talk to someone inside the city. Uh, well, I, well, well, no, because it was going know. the way we came, right? right? Yeah, it looked like from the notes they were going to New Daremoth. From Streatham? Yes. Not Street Streatham? Streatham. Where have we just come from? Streatham. Streatham. No, 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 no. We're not coming from mm. No, we're South coming Wald. from Eldalon. Southwold. South we came from Southwold. 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 We're coming from Southwold. I always forget the name. I don't know why. Nothing personal. Uh, okay. Yeah. I mean, if it's going to where we're going, how much of this can we fit in the bag to just. Well, we have a there? cart. Just pile it in there. We could get carted. Uh... Yeah, but there's a I, lot I of ore, and I'm, I, like, we, well, yes, we also. I, have I would say we leave it here and just let them know, hey, your carts were damaged, and what? I'm thinking cash on delivery. We might make a killing if we can get as much of this stuff up there as possible, though. Yes, yeah, they also might think we stole it, worth, Dutch. which is what I'm scared of. Uh, well, Brooks, um, make um, who would? I'll say make a history check based on like your your. Oh, I'm not good at history. Past like yeah, I mean I'll, make, I'll, I'll allow you to make an extra intelligence if that makes a difference, but no, it's exactly. a plus like, this zero. Is, this is a fact that you would just happen to know or not. You know what I mean? It's not like a. Do I get advantage because of my background and proficiency with sure the Smith tools? Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> right, and I mean it's still a straight roll, but it's with advantage. Uh, twelve. You reckon that there's roughly a, a few, like. If depending on what all the ores are, but you see just at a glance, you see a lot of iron, a lot of silver, and then a couple of like other more rare ores. Um, but this is a couple thousand gold worth of ore. Obscures. Um, but you also reckon that Shut the fuck this shipment up. is probably already paid for. Um, uh, there might be a bounty out or like a finder's fee for like, hey, we find your lost shipment, but that's yeah. You know experience that typically these deals, like, they get paid on beforehand before the traders start their trek and, and stuff. Realistically, this is worth a lot of money, but to sell it to someone, it would have to be someone that doesn't ask questions, and someone that doesn't ask questions is going to pay a lot less than the going rate. And if anything, we'll probably get more just taking it back to where it's supposed to be going. Well, I, yeah, I think if we saying. just brought like a small bit and showed them, hey, we found this. Uh, I'm assuming it's for someone here, you know, and, and just ask if there's like a little, you know, collector's fee for, you know, pointing them well, in the right there's direction. What? There's a, a delivery note, I guess, so we'll know where it's going. I figure we yes, just go to wherever I can, it's going and say, hey, more, yes. we Did found you fucking... Specify where it's going? I had to look through the notes more. I only got to glance through them before we were attacked. 
That's fair enough, but I'm sure it'll be in there. I'm just saying, I think we just, I think we just go where we where, take it wherever it's going and say, we just fucking killed two hill giants to get this. You could practice your cartography skills, uh, Davian, and draw them a map to it. Sure. Why yeah. don't we first figure out where it's going and then see whether it's on our way or not? Because we don't. Well, know it's New Daramoth, so it's, it's on going our to way. New, it's going to New Daramoth. Just we don't know where okay. exactly yet. So, how much can we pick up? I don't think we need to bring much. Uh, maybe some of the higher value ones, just to show that we found it. Uh, is there like any like platinum or gold ores that are worth a little more than the silver? Maybe. Uh, there's a couple of gold uh, ores that you find as okay, well. I'll, as well I'll as, pick up a few. Uh, as well as a couple of like just ore vein or like pieces of rock that just happen to have like gems in it, uh, mm -hmm. like like raw Can uncut not... uh, gems. Like the the iron and the silver maybe we leave, but like the more valuable shit. Can you not fit that? In your I'll grab like in cart. a vein, a little little rock with some gold in it, and then a rock with some like a gem or something, and that'll be it. I don't know. Okay. I think we need more. I'm thinking more that like they might not necessarily want to pay us in case they come back and it's not here because they don't trust us. Whereas if we take the valuable shit, then you know, like if you lose iron, it's not a major deal compared to. I just don't think uh, worst comes to worst they say hey we want to verify that it's there and we come and pick up our cash on the way back through we have to come back to new daramoth anyways on our way back from the lake true we'll draw yeah we'll, we'll draw my map to it we'll take the troll an ear from each troll or something and say hey but uh, what giant, uh, giant actually say, hey fucking yeah 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 yeah. uh we just killed these two hill giants whatever is map to your stuff Here's proof that we have you have seen your stuff, given the rare shit. Jax. Uh, yes. Is there a an insignia, uh, an insignia or a signature or anything on these on these letters, these notes? All right, I'll start. I'll start looking through the notes and trying to find like who the buyer was or an insignia. Okay. Um. You find make an investigation check actually. Uh, 21. 21? The only thing you see it's signed by is um, someone called The Steed, and you find a small stamp of what seems to be a red lotus flower. <laughs> okay. Does that mean anything? No, <laughs> I just thought it was funny. Don't worry about it. Does that mean anything to <laughs> anyone? Well, he hasn't necessarily told us this yet, or said. No, I would, I would mention that. What I found. Yeah. I mean, oh. when you're there with you, Steed I'm not asking in character. I'm when just we get saying... back to the cart, I've grabbed What's one. What's the crack? Yeah. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude. Why? Well, I'm not. At, I'm just <laughs> curious if anyone out of character just you know yeah. happens to the know what it is. Fucking fuck around and find yes. out, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Out of character, okay. it's a it's a brothel that I used to go to frequently. Mm -hmm. mm. Out of character, so Ethan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I used to go okay. to a brothel called the, called the red. Called the, <laughs> no, he was a man called the Steed at the brothel called the Red Lotus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, and you, you know what? Called to the, the name, steed. okay. <laughs> Mostly man, but horse rate counts. <laughs> the head. Oh, All right. Sake. Uh. I will uh, head back to the cart. There's then. a sign above the door that says bring so your own saddle. As we're heading back to the cart, I'll just sign to Kess. Um, so no horse in a I can't remember if we've checked there yet. Um, we there, haven't. If it, th we haven't checked if there's an X uh, on New Dermoth on our map. There's, there's one on the map, yeah. There's you checked a, the city a when you were the there last, um, yeah, but you checked it. the tavern and that wasn't it and then you, start, you stopped looking. So Finish. then we stopped, okay. So then I, I'll say if we... I don't know if we're stopping there long, but if we have time, we could look around and see if we could find this person. It probably wouldn't be worth it. Maybe... I don't know. It, it's hard to tell without knowing anything about it. No, I'm just not. I mean... Maybe we could see and if we could get Elsinor to tell us, but I don't know how <laughs> easy or difficult that might be. Yeah, you're right. it's probably not a big deal, but just 
keep an eye. So far, the the names seem pretty often visually based or inclined. Mm -hmm. So maybe if we come across them, we could just guess. Probably. Also remind me later, remind me to tell you later. I I fucked up real hard with with that the captain lady. Oh, I made a I made a big dumb. This is all in sign language still. <laughs> if it's because you called her by my name, I already know. Yeah, that. yeah. yeah. I, yep. I I I just I forgot for a minute. Okay, I just it's a lot. It's a lot of names. It, there are a lot of names, and it seemed appropriate. Like they're you know water creature yeah, yeah. associated with pirates. Pirate? And then, yeah. you know, it just seemed to fit. I I feel so stupid. It might be that we have to tell the party about it. If just it a up. little bit more. If it comes up. I mean, I, I'm shocked no one asked when we're just like, we'll ask nicely for the potions and... Yeah, no. I have a feeling we'll probably need to talk to Brooks. Especially when Jolly was so easily... Yeah. Maybe someone Ready takes... To, maybe if just one of us takes watch... Well, you, <laughs> one of us, haha. <laughs> you take watch with Brooks and <laughs> have a chat and... Just try and be like, hey, yeah. so it's not as sketchy as it looks. But it's still uh, <laughs> uh, a little bit. Again, just like I I don't, I don't I try and stay away from sketchy things as much as I can. So True. you know This was like a big move for you. Yeah. That that the the fight club y'all are bad influences. We already know this to be true. Right? <laughs> yeah, we know this already. Wrong. I mean, what, considering what? how we met. <laughs> Bad influence, yeah. but also seemingly like the most impressionable somehow at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So then by now, I assume we're back at the cart. Yeah. Yeah. How did you guys get back to the cart as the only one who didn't fucking go, apparently? <laughs> 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 I'm just like, so what did you find then? <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, a couple of carts. Uh, we're going to return or tell them where they lost them, I guess. Lots mm. of war. Ores. Anything. Many ores. Many ores. Many gemstones and the likes, or just ore? There's some raw ones, but I don't want to steal from them. I oh, no. Don't know I just want to just wanna see what, they, what the mining is like in these areas, that's all. Yeah, oh, I'll well, bet, it all came yeah. from street them, so... I'll bet this wouldn't here. have happened if mm. um, old Elazar was there to put his blessing on it. Uh, yes, I blessed that blessing would never stopped the hill giants straight into the tracks. Unless this is cargo <laughs> that the last one blast at some point or maybe he cursed <laughs> it because it wasn't his contract there's no temple in streatham it's one of the most depressing places i've ever been in my life <laughs> actually elezra i do have a question it was pretty bad yeah, yeah. the mom does other things than hang out with if us. people are like trading around you without your contracts do you curse their trade Ooh. routes Ooh. could you I... curse your trade route could you i would never personally curse a competitor's trade routes unless mm. there was a substantial fee involved. Personally. Unless it was oh, your, your, your bribe. What if it's your competitors or your parents are oh. jewelers? I relish competition. Joking means we can up our own prices. It's true that we're more premium quality. But you wouldn't ever you know, others. I, I mean, walk in a call and say, oh, something really bad happens no, today. I... <laughs> <laughs> would you even do it? If you ask? If you're like, mm, well, what if they also have please Joaquin make this Greece? I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of prayers that get asked to Joaquin, especially of rival competitors. Uh, some you have to take your own action onto and sort of make Would them you be able to reverse a curse if Are you someone cursed you've been your out there shit? sabotaging your competitors? I haven't. I've never done that. Inside check. <laughs> Inside check. <laughs> I don't I don't also, like to insight this. <laughs> Fuck Ooh. yeah, I rolled well. Well, I was rolling. Dirty uh, 20 for me. Deception. I rolled a 22. Fuck. I, I have no idea. I, I rolled, rolled... A Seems honest to me. Bulletproof. 25. Damn. Oh, Elazarin's punched at telling the truth. Elazarin has <laughs> never done it himself personally. <laughs> he has been involved. <laughs> He's with it, never but... said the exact <laughs> precise words. <laughs> He's been he in a has, group he, that he, did it. He's he walked has, into a tavern, put money oh. on a table, and went, it'd be an awful shame if someone destroyed that car outside. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, he may have been involved in plots that 
were around and they've someone has come and asked for advice, but he, he has I didn't them. sabotage them. I gave them a gift of a box of gunpowder underneath their yeah. cat. Yeah. If they Drawing were to happen to Drawing If they were storm. to happen to to drive over the set of matches. Street car bomb, I don't them. know. Yeah. <laughs> no, um also he wasn't like he's part of a group that <coughs> sabotaged entire governments or anything. Yeah. We don't no, know no. that because we don't True. know anything about the group. <laughs> exactly. Did you did, 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 did your tutor ever like hmm? curse someone else's trader? <laughs> I mean he's done many things I don't know about. It wouldn't um, put it past him. What about the things that you do know about? I mean I wouldn't put it past him. He's definitely been involved. Sh shall we head back Discussion on the road? Discussions have happened about Yeah, let's get on the car. Especially certain groups. There is one in particular that uh I wouldn't like to see trade in these areas. But really... what group is that? Oh we don't have to talk about that. <laughs> I, I think it'd be very worthwhile to talk about no, that. No no no. Uh, when we, uh, when we find on. them. Are they in the trade of jewellery or are they They are in the jewellers trade. No, oh, I've lost interest. Are they someone I would know? <laughs> Wait, have uh, I have lost interest them in jewelry, really? Have I yeah. lost them before? Yeah, I have no interest in jewelry. No, we've not seen any shops. Trust me, every time we go into a different town, I look for. Uh, you realize I've been pirating for two hundred years. Oh, you might do, and I will like drop a quick thing of like Black a swan, like in carving. Yeah, they. That's it. Just a swan. It's just a little, just a little swan. Just a swan. Little swan with. But I know with, like, who or what that is, Mr. Deal. Swarovski. Um, Basic. make a history check. <laughs> Yeah, basically a spell. Yep. <laughs> Swarovski. Yeah. Thirteen Swar plus seven, so a dirty twenty. Yeah, I mean, you've you've you've, you've robbed, pillaged, and plundered your way throughout the fucking plain mm -hmm. over the last two hundred years. So yeah, the odds are you've probably seen jewelry made uh, with that engraving yeah. in it. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, they're pretty popular. Uh, say yes. seventy-five years ago. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Quite right. We're trying to make their comeback, but let's say we've, um, my family stifled them quite a bit, at least in the past. Uh, so, this doesn't sound like a very friendly competition. God, no. It's a cutthroat oh. business, Jory. Don't you know this? I mean, and I'm, I sure, I'm sure you're all flocking to the, the, the new world in search of raw gems and... and That's why I was interested in seeing what gemstones they had here. <gasps> Maybe, maybe the hill giants were as the result of a Julius Dunbar von Trapp curse, <laughs> rather than Not blessing. Such thing doesn't exist. Considering that, well, I'm pretty sure it's not anyone's name. Whatever your it last name is, whatever list. twelve last names you have, I'm just saying the double barrels one. protecting this shipment from. Uh, <laughs> Hill trolls, maybe um, the hill. You're the reason the hill trolls are here, or not you, yeah. but someone from you know the well, old that would be Julius just Caesar, Vinald Dunbar. It's not that difficult a last name. There is a Julius in there, though. There is. That's my middle right. name. Right. Right. Yeah. Do you have like your seven? middle name a lot? No. Okay. Uh, to whenever he introduces himself have. to someone who would clearly think he's a cunt for using it, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I vote that we call him Julius from now on. I hope he does. I like Julius. It's, better. it's better than Laszlo. What's even a drop you guys? Laszlo. Laszlo. Oh fuck, Laszlo. Right. So no, we're you guys Julie. are back on the carts, and uh, you guys I are, will... are, are we're moving. It. Even after this, I reluctantly still do my prayer of healing for these cunts. <laughs> very good, very good. <laughs> How much do we heal, please? I don't know. I've not moved it yet. Yeah, we'll Does the jacks? Oh. Show Brooks any of the fucking Ten. signature insignias or anything. Ten oh yeah, dude, he's gonna show you the uh, okay, the yes. traitor the traitor badge that I got. That is the one thing that Brooks is actually interested in. Yeah, I'll but... show you that, and then I'll show you the Red Lotus like insignia. If you want, you know. Uh, I don't believe, unless Dutch shows me otherwise, that I know anything about that. Nope. Cool. Uh. The the trader badge, Dutch. Mm -hmm. What did you say? It the fucking. It, uh, it's basically proof of membership uh, of the like official empire sanctioned like merchants alliance. I guess is a good way of putting it. And so, is there a name for it or just like? Uh, it's just trade? it's just uh, literally just 
the, the, the fucking uh, trade alliance. It's like a, it's like an alliance made between several trade families and, and organizations that were all like kind of grouped together when this new world happened or like this new world appeared to Is there... fly under the flag of the empire and do official business there for uh, the empire of Kaldalar. Okay, you're gonna hate me. Hmm? What metal is I it made out of? Copper. And is it overtly elaborate in design? It's pretty comp. It's pretty complex. Yeah. If you're if, if wanting to recreate it, you're going to have. To, it's going to take some time to really like nail that. There's uh, some intricacies to it. To stop people. Would from it take it. as much time if I had it <laughs> and could therefore make a mold of it if we needed to? If you have the right supplies and tools, yeah, that that would make it easier. Yeah. Potentially get that done. We can talk. We can talk. I'll, I'll go through all of this with Jackson. Basically, say if we need to give it up, I would like to at least have a sketch of it. Uh, and in the car, I will make a sketch of it. Uh, we won't give it up. This is my official one. Is my membership? Are you sketching in your no in your sketchbook? Uh, yeah. Even if Jack says that he's not giving it up, uh, I'll <laughs> I'll sketch it because I want to have it sketched down. Um. <clears throat> And that might come oh, up shit. later. Who knows? Who knows? All right. Uh, we'll say that for the sake of this uh, and it's being break time. That uh, the rest of your travel day goes pretty well. Uh, and you find a nice place to make camp for the night. And then we'll uh, we'll get to the like the campsite uh, RP after our break, I think. Do. Right. So uh, we're going to we're gonna be right back. Like five to ten minutes. And then we'll be back for the second half of today's session. Hope you guys enjoyed it so far. Thanks for being here. Thanks for all the subs and stuff, guys. You guys are pretty damn awesome. Um, if you're new around here and like what we do, hit the follow button. We uh, we play D&D every Sunday. We talk about D&D every Thursday and we play some Divinity. We try every Monday, but sometimes things happen and come uh, interrupt that. Well, we, but... we play video games every Monday, I guess, and right now we're doing Divinity. Yeah, true, true, true. So, um, BRB, y'all. Later. Yeah. Switch. Imagine I'm pre ordering. I heard some other new game that comes hello. out Hello. 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 All right. Who's your project? Just day one by. We are back, Um uh, You guys just make camp mm -hmm. uh, to rest for the night. Uh, what do you guys want to do? Um. Oh, all right. I, I have an idea. If you guys are all okay with it. <clears throat> Go on. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Well, it's a drinking game. No. I thought that everyone would enjoy it, and we do have quite a bit of booze. Um, do we? Right. Do we all have quite a bit of booze? Oh, we brought uh, a fucking barrel. So I fucking hope so. Did we? Oh, we brought a keg. Uh, you got one keg. <laughs> I, I, I brought, say that I it's brought a keg. If you start acting like, oh, I brought a barrel, so that's my alcohol. I'm going to be fucking mad because I <laughs> really wanted to get another one. And you convinced me not to on the basis that you already had one. I convinced you on the basis that it would be stupid to bring a massive fucking barrel but says the man who brought a massive fucking barrel i didn't bring a massive barrel i brought a keg <laughs> what's the drinking oh. game right what's the game all right you flip a coin mm -hmm. right you get in pairs you flip a coin the people that win you know because the other person calls in the air you know to hate the coin the people that win Take a drink. Mm -hmm. And get to ask the other person a question. Oh, no. <laughs> Does it have to be, like, it, it just needs to be a satisfactory answer. You know, it could still be vague. It's just, you know. Well, this is to help us get to know each other better, because I feel like I really well, don't uh, know. No, I've got a game. I've got a game. Okay. We... We uh, take one of those lovely bottles of mixed wine that uh, <laughs> Kest procured for us. I didn't actually mix the wine. I was just messing with her last one. Uh, we, you know, all have a glass until the bottle's empty, and then we put it on the ground, sit around it in a circle, and spin oh the bottle. No! <laughs> <laughs> and then whoever and then the bottle what? stops on has to d either tell us something a truth, if you will, or do something as decided on by the rest of the group. In the bottle, truth or dare? Okay. Oh my god. <laughs>
<laughs> I've never heard of this game. Like teenagers sure. parties. Uh, we can right. also do the variation where we kiss each other, but it might get a bit awkward. <laughs> Only if you make it awkward. It definitely yeah. did at the Ranger camp. I just, you. I, I signed a kiss. <laughs> I signed a kiss. What if the dare is to kiss someone? Isn't that the same thing? I, I had best of friends. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I, w I would figure so. I'm do you want me to ask? Either. Chug, sure. Mm, I'm not gonna ask. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Story of Kais and Dagon's relationship. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, I, I suppose. We spin the, you know, rather than everyone pairing off and flipping coins, we can all ask each other stuff, you know. Yeah. And there are, you know, six of us, so. <clears throat> <clears throat> you know that means we could just roll a d6, and then whoever it lands on is just the bottle spin. Shit, there, there is seven. Siren. Wait, how many are here? Siren's here. here. Are we including Siren? Idiot. Of course we are. We're including Siren. Roll a d8. Don't no, we're, we're making her go sit in the trees. Let's roll a d8, and if you roll an eight, roll again. You don't like... have to include me if you don't want to. D Listen, Siren. <clears throat> Why would we not want to include you? I don't know. Because there's a part of this odd group. number of us, I feel like that would work better than pairing up. Than pairing on. Than pairing, yeah. yeah. What if we all rolled a d20? Okay, let me out. Highest is the one that asks the question, and Lois doesn't? Or Lois gets asked? Or we just roll a d8, and if it's an h, we roll. All right, fine. Or one. <laughs> one <two. laughs> cool. Yeah. And and the, the person it lands on is the person who gets to roll next, right? Because oh, that's my... how but, the yeah. model works. Yeah. Whenever one of us goes to bed early or fucks mm. off, we'll play Jax's game when there's a What did he around. do? I think he burned his, burned his like, hand or something. Like the, yeah, like oh, the... good job. <laughs> I'm thinking, I've got a cup noodle and I ate it. And it <laughs> something fell on the hand. It's really fucking hard. <laughs> I caught it live. I caught it live, dude. They saw it happen. <laughs> just... Can we make it in canon that Osrin's brought like rations that he had to hold little noodles? Yeah. No, it's got like a it. cup out. All right. Uh, so how does this work? Uh, all right, I'm rolling D8. Well, wait, wait. We, we, we need to decide who is number one through seven first. Well, no, 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 no. We all have to be satisfactorily. I almost said lubricated. Inebriated. So socially I'll take, socially I'll, lubricated. I'll take a bottle <laughs> and. I don't like you know, that I guess we all have cups of some kind, and we'll, you know, sure. sh 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 share out the uh, share out the first mm -hmm. bottle, which is probably yeah. enough to empty it. Should uh, we just yeah. go in in yeah. Discord order and then add put Siren last, like a Siren as seven? Sure. So Wait, one one is Kess. Write this down. Real two quick. is Elazrin. Three is me. Four would be That's Brooks. Me. Five would be Davian. If you're rolling eight. You have to drink. You just re-roll. That's the that's the oh, it, that, that would be the equivalent. Oh, you have to drink, I guess. Yeah, yeah. that would be the equivalent first. of it landing like between people. The bottle, so, yeah, yeah, the bottle's yeah. like skewed. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm so, to start uh, this game. Eight, eight is one of the horses. Two is Lazarin, three is Diagon, four is Brooks, five is Davian, six is Jack, seven is Siren. Yep. And yeah. then eight Ooh. is drink. Eight is drink. Okay. All right. No, Jack, you sure I did play a game? You can go first. Okay. So. A one. Uh, oh, that's Kess. Kess. Oh, yeah. Kess is first. All right, Kess. Mm-hmm. Uh, tr truth or dare? Tr truth? Oh. <laughs> Who? Fuck. <laughs> nice. He's forgotten who you are. <laughs> Who what, are you? Who remember it? What exactly. organization are you and Jolly a part of? And Dog. What makes you think it's an and organization? Dagen. Well, there's more than just you and Dagen. The organized nature of it, I think. So it's somewhat <laughs> organized. Does that make it an organization? Yes. Yes. Is, that just Is like there a collective thing? name for you? Are and we Jolly and an Dagen? organization? Can I stop there... dodging the question? To no some point. degree. At the very basics of it, is there a name, an umbrella Your term for you and Dagon and Jolly and, you and know, other group. people within the same group? Yes. Yes or no? Well, that's the, okay. that's who well, you are, the name? so. I can't tell you. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. We did say vagaries are acceptable. I, I'll sign to Kess. You could just say it's like 
uh, uh, Lazarin has Joaquin, like the common thread is we all follow a, a certain entity, Elsinil. I can't tell you the name, but as Dagon has pointed it out, the, the, the thing we have in common is that we all follow Elsinil. As Dagon's pointed out, we're there like, no idea what Dagon's just said. <laughs> <laughs> just points it's out like you, you're there. like, what? <laughs> <laughs> You'll follow us. Oh, all right. So I guess go ahead. Okay. I guess spin the... Spin, spin the, the dice. dice. <laughs> spin the dice. Seven. That's a Siren. Nice. Okay. Get to know the NPC. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> uh, she'll just like... Uh... She might pick Dare, actually. Hold go on. for truth. Oh, thank no. you. No. <laughs> Fuck you, Dutch. Um... <laughs> Not me glad I have a chance to exposition some NPC lore. I'm sorry for jumping on that chance. Jeez. <laughs> Excuse me. Gosh. A piece oh. of shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you use this as a way of involving world lore? It's crazy. She's forgotten who you are. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second. I'll remember. Oh, my um. gosh. Uh, I'll sign continue. to you. If, if you get stumped, I have an idea. What is it? Go. You could just ask her what was the the most surprising thing about Eldalon, like the time she was there while we were out doing other stuff. Or yeah, like well, what, what the weirdest thing that happened to her was or something. What was the weirdest thing that happened to you while you were in Eldalon? And we weren't there. <laughs> weirdest thing to happen to me or just weirdest experience in general? Let's go with just experience in general. The overwhelming amount of people, yet lack of community? Oh, getting deep. That makes sense, actually. No. That, was, that took me a lot to life in general. We all work together and we all know each other. I get the sense that in a city that big with your people, for lack of better terms, Lot of individualism, I suppose. You know why? Mm. Money. <laughs> Perhaps. Absolutely goes a long way. I didn't have money where I came from, so that would make sense. Well, it's all, you know, exchange of money for goods rather than like, oh, I need this. Do you need help with anything? No, it's just, oh, I yeah, have that's, money. That's so I'm just what gonna time get. I'm used to. So um, yeah, right. I guess that kind of forces people to. Collaborates more than in a city such as Alden. That's I, there I is a the, collaborative the biggest difference I've noticed on a so far, scale. at least. I think there's still communities in the city. It's just not one community. It's yes, exactly. That's what I. That's what I meant. Yes. Obviously, you have you know the, the temple folk are all kind of close knit, and I'm sure that the tavern that we stay at, they're all you know a nice a bundle of people that do stuff together, but I suppose there's the biggest difference is that um, lots of people that don't necessarily ever interact in their lifetime with each other, really. Yet they live so close together, you know what I mean? Yeah, I see what you mean. Alright. Your turn to spin. Alright. Can I re-roll Kess? Because it was Kess again. Can we just do someone else or... Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. For... No, cheating! How dare you? Brooks! Brooks! <laughs> truth truth double deck is commando promise. Everyone else has been fucking boring and picked truth so far, so... Dare! Fuck it, why not? How is truth the weird... Like, the boring <laughs> one to pick? I don't understand. Oh, um... Let's see, let's think. You like to think of yourself as suave, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not the only one. I dare yeah. you to reenact you, you know, busting a move, as they say, on Jax. <laughs> I thought she was going to say not. <laughs> I would like some clarification as to what you mean by busting a move. You see a, 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 a very pretty you know, man or woman who, who you want to spend the night with, what do you do? And just reenact it on Jax. 
best pickup artist moves or dance moves in the intended winning. Them. I was grinding on him. <laughs> <laughs> Just starts twerking. Handstand fuck my friend. I mean, the difficulty there would be that generally you would tailor that to the person in general and obviously knowing Jax and knowing that he's not do you up know? for it, as it were, it means that that <laughs> my approach to him would be different than someone else, but... Well, go on. <laughs> Give it your best <laughs> shot. I will look at Jax and... You comfortable with this? I mean, it is just a game. We appreciate asking for consent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brooks will get up and... Go sit around next to Jax. Oh, Put no. that around him. <laughs> and with like the, the most evil crooked smile to Siren possible. <laughs> and look at Jax and be like, so it's really expensive to rent a room here. <laughs> you wanna go halves? <laughs> I think that would set every lady in the bar screaming. <laughs> you would be surprised how many times that has worked. I'm, I'd be surprised if it worked at all. Nothing turns someone on like going. I'm not going, trying to I romance can't afford them. To stay here. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I'm not getting, trying to romance him into a proposal, boring. am I? It's clear that I can afford to pay for a room here. That's not the Is intent. It clear? Well, it's just really that clear. Depends where you're, all, you're all stupid. You do look a little bit bedraggled lately. It wasn't really that chivalrous, was it? If you went up and went, oh. Brooks just starts like adjusting his suit slightly. <laughs> <laughs> no! Right, I suppose no! that's satisfactory. Hit him right where it hurts. <laughs> Thanks for making good out sport. like I've done it. Thanks for being a good sport, look, Brooks. At the end of the day, it's not like I'm trying to take him out on a classy date somewhere. Just, I'm being direct, and if he's not up for it, he's not up for it, that's fine. I'll move on to someone else that catches my eye. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm not going to waste his time or mine. Reminds me of something I was told as a boy. Uh, lower your standards, up your percentages. What? Oh God. <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck. How she old were you when you got told that? Some, somewhere up there, your wife just rolled. All I'm saying is... <laughs> Oh, Actually, they, they met. <laughs> Some of the best How nights I've had have been with people that weren't conventionally attractive. So, to spin Brooks. All right, <laughs> Brooks, spin ball in that bottle. Oh, Did think today uh, was Davian. Oh no! I think I'm playing spin ball. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh, <laughs> fuck. Oh, <laughs> fucking great food there, wild man. Oh. I'll take a truth. I mean, why not? A truth for Darian. The most boring man in the woods. <laughs> what are you uh, hoping yeah. to Jack's right there. What's your end, <laughs> like, Excellent. ideal hope for this whole tears thing? What's your best outcome? And be able to just throw fire around and shit. You know, it seems pretty fucking cool if you ask me. I mean, <clears throat> see what you know, Kess and Aladrin can do. Magic is pretty cool. I've done some great shit with it. Magic has to do with that. No, because hmm? your magic's more technical. It's hmm. not from a being. Yours is more innate. Yes, it's I don't need to rely on the idea. My power. Well, his magic right. isn't magic, right? Or it's science. It's for some sense magic. Yeah. Science imbued with an innate magical something that he carries in his massive balls. <laughs> <laughs> Have you? You haven't been watching what I change? No, I just <laughs> imagine it being. You know, We've the seen you in the bathtub. <laughs> 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 there are some it's things like, it's like two that, 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 in a that gym bubble, there are some <laughs> things that bubble oh, bath can't hide a blue gym uh, 
Anyways. <laughs> um, Snooper balls. Yeah, stocking. Oh, it's nothing, you know, nothing heinous, though. You know, just... You know, get get some more interesting fire flinging, bad guy smiting ability. I mean, you know, maybe learn something from an elemental lord. That seems pretty. <clears throat> that seems like something, I guess, to be on the right side of. But yeah, end goal: shoot fire. <laughs> wow. Right, guess I'll spin. Yeah. I've got Siren again, so I'm just going <clears> to... <throat> Why? No, no we can do it off more. Okay, we're, allowed but, well, to, we're allowed to do duplicates. Dutch just chose not to because... Well, I rolled... Because the, the game had just started. ...this time around, but fine. We'll go We'll go with Siren. Siren, truth or dare? Um... Truth? How old are you? <laughs> old? old? TM's like, I don't know. Uh, I do, I do, I do, I do. I just have to quickly peek at her fucking character sheet. Um, you don't know it off the top of your head? No. It's crazy how many MCs I have in my head that I don't know every detail. Man's yeah, got more fair. personalities in his head than someone with a I diagnosed am condition. 21. How shit. long, or uh, no, in in your memorable lifetime, how much has your people's communication with, we'll say our people's, changed over that time? Sort of pretty hostile, but um, as the years went by and some of my people... Um, started to accept the fact that we were no longer the only ones. It, it quite quickly evolved. Um, it's been, I'd say, good. Maybe the last five years or so. So, that's yeah, uh, honestly quite surprising, but I'm glad that it has gotten better. But then again, the only people we really had or have had contact with until I went to Eldilon with the people of New Daramuth. Other than that, we were still pretty um, foreign to the rest of, you know, the cities and towns spread throughout the, the colonized bit of the land. But with Eldilon Did being your biggest city here, I'm thinking that um, we might experience some changes relatively quickly because word will spread, I suppose. <clears throat> Interesting. Well, I suppose it's your turn to spin. I suppose it is. Dagon. Are you going to try <laughs> Cass. Cass? I'll just what scratch the letter D <laughs> in the ground preemptively. Dare. Since right. I it so I don't know enough to translate if I just pick dare, so <laughs> hmm. I mean this in the nicest way possible. <laughs> but I'm curious. Could you try to make sound come from your If you don't want to, of course, then just very curious. Really cheeky, and I just like hiss like a cat, like I've already done multiple times around the group. That doesn't involve using my vocal cords. Fair enough. I suppose I should have been more specific. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll I'll sign to Kess uh, if she wants to translate. I could try, but the only times I've tried, it hurts a lot. You are not located to you, especially if it hurts. No, I mean, that's you can tell Siren that, as in, like that's why I'm, I'm not just being like, I yeah, don't no, want to play. Like I, Kes is <laughs> Kes is just replying in sign language before she tells. Oh, Siren. okay, okay. She says um, she's tried to make sound before, but it hurts oh. a great deal. Oh, okay, never mind then. 
sorry, I didn't know. I just thumbs up to say it's okay. I'm not offended. It's your turn to spin. <laughs> okay, I rolled a seven. That's zero again. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna keep it though because I have a question. So I spin the seared, uh and I sign to Kes. Oh wait, I, wait, she's a pick. She's a pick. Truth or dare? Truth, Hold truth. on. Okay. Um, will you have ever? Will you ever hook up with a Lazarin? And that's the question. <laughs> Uh, Kes is repeating that word for word. You, you see, you see, a Lazarin takes a drink and just goes. <laughs> she'll, she'll look at a Lazarin. Red wine out the nose. Yeah. Um, I don't think, don't think that's up to me, is it? And she'll just like look oh, at Lazarin. Oh, oh shit! Lazarin just stays dead silent. <laughs> takes it for a drink. Even Brooks had more game than that. Come on. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright. That's an eight, so Siren just like drinks and spins again. Jax. Think oh for... boy. Truth or death. A truth. You mentioned um well, okay, let me rephrase. You've settled down after your pirating life and right? So what made yes. you what made you decide to you know, traveling around and choosing this life, especially given your age? It's why to leave the settled life and join a adventuring party? Just to clarify. Yeah, just why, after you've settled down, decide to pick up a life of adventuring and traveling around once more after you've planted roots? Um, well, I, I settled down in a nice little port city. I don't remember the name of it. Um, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's somewhere there. Well, hold on. I got um, you. It, uh,. Port Danilo, I believe it was. Yes. Um, Whenever and... you forget anything, just blame old man memory. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Um, well, my family and I lived there for did, seven years. And one day, a mechanical golem of some sort came and destroyed the whole city. Oh, uh, I haven't been back since. What happened to your family? I believe that we'll take another spin. <laughs> Fair. Fair enough. Fair enough. So fun of games that you get a question about your dead family. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough of this game. <laughs> a, Siren has no idea, and B, she's very socially inept. True. <laughs> it's like Cast 2.0. You said Port Danilo? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Should be on the map of color, I think. Yep. Yeah, it is. All right, your turn to spit. Oh. Uh, Lazarin. Oh. Fuck. Shit. Finally. Pick air. Pick air. Do it. Do it. Oh, you, you know. You know. Because <laughs> I won't. Damn it. Oh, I wanted the truth. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> I'm which one, though? Truth. Which question, though? That's the question. <laughs> Is that your question? Which question? Well, no. I do <laughs> <laughs> no. oh, Nice. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> mm, fuck, it's so hard to decide. <laughs> does he want memes? Does he want lore? Does he want memes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Does he> want <laughs> <lore>? <laughs> Is there some way to combine oh, the two? The two. How long will Siren have to chase you until you cave? <laughs> <laughs> when will you stop playing hard? Am I able to ask a two-part question? Sure. <laughs> Depends what the two parts are, I suppose. Oh, I was curious, uh, where is your family based? and Are they still alive? Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> I, have to, I, I have to remember the... 
Where are your family and are they dead? <laughs> my, fa <laughs> my family at still least live? Last, <laughs> last I checked, my family are still very much alive. So obviously, it's hard to contact them as quickly as I'd like. And Dutch, I can't remember where the fuck I'm from, city, like exact city wise, but I know it's in the um, Truth of Kingdom. I never wrote it down because I was just like, Dutch, tell me later. <laughs> I was like, here. Big it's Dom. In the is it's it in back kingdoms. in. It's in the. Kill it, the it's, it's, from it's the in the Kingdom. It's the Goodwin Kingdom. It, it's in Good, okay. it's Goodwin Kingdom, oh, but oh, I can't remember okay. exactly, like, it was by. Um, Specific enough, right? Win the yeah. Good City. Sure, that's close enough. I'm, I'm, uh, from the Goodwin Kingdom. Hey! Small city outside, small mining uh, town. Slash city. Got family that owns half that place. No, we just own the mining. No, I do, I said. Oh, do you? Oh. A number one, two. Oh, Davian. Yeah. What? That's been the ball. Oh, shit, right. <laughs> it's just there. Um, I'll go with a dare this time. Oh, fuck, I'm bad at think of dares. <laughs> It's gonna be a group effort. What should we get Davian to do? Oh, when you put it that way, it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's regretful. It's there, and you've got. Oh, to... but I'm. Hmm. Hold on. I'll get one of the bottles of white wine. Mm -hmm. I'll just be like just down as much of that as you can. Oh, chug, okay. chug, All right. chug, 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 chug. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. <laughs> and I'll just try and get the whole thing down. I mean, uh, make what's going to happen? Oh, My man's boy. about to bath up balsamic vinegar. Oh, it's yeah. good. It's good. It's good. Six, it's right line. Wait, 16 plus two. So 18. Yeah, you Damn. pretty much neck the entire bottle and just keep fucking gulping and keep gulping until it's all gone. Damn. And then I slam it down with a clink, like knocking the other old bottle aside. <laughs> Turn it over and give it a spin. Nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, cocked. Oh, one. Kess. <gasps> hey! Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> that was such an aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much lore. I just need to know which. There's so right, many questions. Right, well, Kess, truth or dare? Mm, truth. I'll appease you. <laughs> So many questions. Mm -hmm. mm, so many questions about blue and yep. about yeah. the guy whose name I can't remember anymore. The diplomat. Dashu. 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 I can't remember if Kess ever disclosed anything about Dashu. That's Did what you I'm saying. I couldn't, I, see, I couldn't remember, so I didn't want to ask anything about it. You said she told you people. that he was uh, your dad. My dad. <laughs> yes. Okay. And that, also that, yeah, that was revealed. That he was mm. um, what do I call it? A diplomat. In yeah. the wall. Well, I told you that. Yeah, yeah, you told me that. Yeah. And then, um, she and that she, it. she saw him the one time because she said that's yeah. where she went in the vessel that mm -hmm. one time that that's then right. broke. So we know she's talked to him. And then he was like a deadbeat, right? And Blue had to pick up the uh, slack. Yeah, yeah his excuse and... was like, we're bad parents in general. It's not my fault. It's genetic. Like, it was real dumb. Um, and, uh, Sai was turned into a Ganassi by him. Oh, damn. We don't hear much about your, uh, <gasps> your mother. Yo. So, I, can't, I don't really have any direct questions, but anything you'd like to share? Nope. <laughs> Ask a direct question and you'll get an answer. Ask hey, a direct asked if there was anything you'd like to share and you said no. No. <laughs> that is the truth. Perhaps that's the truth. Um... Well, I suppose she she did a lot of, a lot of the work, or at least I think so. Is she still alive? Yes. Uh, which when I left, she was, and she was quite right, young, right. so she's probably still around. I'd be surprised if she wasn't. Could have asked a better question than that, but well, I suppose that's all I get. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll spin. I got myself. Nice. <laughs> I got eight. Drink and, <laughs> drink spin, again. and spin again. Drink and spin again. And, spin again. And, I drank, and I drank again. Oh, oh Cass is just 
That's gonna get wasted. Yeah. Five. Davian. <laughs> Turn it back around. <laughs> I'm still alive. True. <laughs> Where's your mother? <laughs> Just... I'm sorry, where's it me? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> your your mother is the, like, runs mm. one of the, what did you call it? Rangers? Lodge, I suppose. Lodges. Yeah. So, who who is your father? A uh, politician. Nothing too interesting. His name's Edgar Breyer. He is the, uh, mayor, I suppose, of Breyer's town, which is over in Febra's footing. Not a really interesting man. He's just, you know, well-educated and well-connected. Family sort of spread all around Goodwind, own a good portion of land, where the wind is indeed good. Mostly farming, milling, that sort of thing, but they own a lot of swaths of uh, farmland, pretty much. But uh, my, my father was approached by... Uh, the the kingdom's sort of uh, not 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 trading sort of organization, but I don't I don't know <laughs> some envoy of the of the royal family to essentially send my family, my father, my mother, and myself when I was tiny over to start a new town, pretty much. So my dad was the uh, the mayor, and my mum took care of all of the. Ranger side of things. We had a lot more to do back then, though. Right. Well, suppose I'll... Suppose I'll, uh, spin. Oh! Diagon. I just point to the D letter I scratched in the ground. Right? There again? Fucking shit. Well, I just signed... I mean, I guess... I mean, it's kind of hard to do truth in this manner. <laughs> True. <clears throat> I do have a question for you, though, and it's a yes or no. Then I'll, I'll say sure, or shrug with my shoulders, because I can do that with thumbs up, thumbs down. Did you let me punch you? Kind of like head down, just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking knew it. Right, your turn. <laughs> Five, damn <laughs> Dare. <laughs> dare. Dare, okay. Um, <laughs> I kind of want to... Oh, I want to see if I can... Just go for it. Set up... Is there some really, really hard shot we can try and have it make? What's the area like where we're camping? Uh, Dutch? Like a clearing Sorry. In the forest. <laughs> there's some, there's some like, rocks around. There's some... Uh... Some some trees are like very tightly together. Some trees have more, have more space between okay. them. Uh, just like a forest. I'm gonna... Um... See if I do that. I'm gonna pick up a rock, and I'm gonna point to his his quiver and his bow, and then mime like throwing the rock and shooting. So you have to hit the rock as I throw it in there. Okay. Yeah. I'll 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 take my bow and my excellent time to do that after you downed a whole bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Knock an arrow. Uh, steady the hand. So you know. It did double not the steady the hand. Okay. Um, I throw. So that means throw I can the see the rock. The rock. Twice as the well. Rock, the rock's about this big. We'll say I find one like the size of my palm. Oh, God. Uh, strong attack, Davian. Straight attack? Yeah. <sighs> Come on. I got to redeem myself after the archery <laughs> competition 20 episodes ago. There we go. I'm giving you a chance. Not one incoming, baby. Oh, my God. I dropped it on my desk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a... <laughs> Wait, is that a six or a nine? Oh, it's, okay, it's a nine, which makes it a 16. Yeah, you fire your arrow and uh, it just slaps into the rock uh, midair and the rock just goes flying and the arrow just kind of just like gets hit by the rock and just falls down. Easily enough. Easily enough. Um, right. Pick up my arrow. Put back my quiver. Put my bow away and spin. For Siren. <laughs> Which would you rather there. I pick? I I have no preference. Truth then? Um ooh. <laughs> What were your what were your first impressions of us when we stumbled across you there in the jungle? 
Well... Um, I was grateful that you saved me, because I would have surely caved under the weight of that big saber-tooth buck. But, um, I suppose a real impression kind of formed after being around you for a few days, and... Honestly, my impression was, how are any of these people still alive? <laughs> but, you know, as time went on, I noticed that there was more to you than... A group of idiots, I suppose, I guess is how I perceived you at first. Just barely, yeah. Just barely. So that was my, my perception of you in the early stages. Oh, don't, I don't think we can argue with that. <laughs> um, pretty bad around company. I had fun, but I think I'm going to uh, rest my eyes. Uh, it's getting late, but um, thank you. This was enjoyable. Yeah. Sleep All right, well. I'll try and uh, if keep it down. If you want me to wake up for a watch at any point throughout the night, just uh, give me a kick. Bedtime. Uh, who's, who's who's is someone going to spin in Siren's place, or are we changing it up? I think you get to spin again, surely. Hmm. Yeah, that would make You sense. have answered the most. Why you not? You roll it. You could roll a d6. d6 now because yeah. Siren's yeah. not playing. We'll, I guess. Do one, two, three, four, five, keep six. Same numbers. Spread evenly. Yeah, keep, keep and the same numbers, in. and then just if you roll your own number, you can just drink. Yeah. And spin again. <clears throat> oh, I got, got Dagon again. <laughs> uh, I, I guess your again, default like, to dare. Yeah, because I make I make a kiss translate enough, so it's like when it's unnecessary, I try and avoid it. Oh man, can I? I would, I would love to just like, actually punch. Unless you again, to I'll be I'll sign to uh I'll sign to kiss if. If it wants, I can pick truth, and if it's a question I've written about already, then I'll answer, and if it's not, mm. then it could switch to dare? Actually, uh, oh, no, no, truth, I need to know the real actual answer to how you lost your voice. Ah, <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> the, the real truth. I will pull out my journal that I've written longer things in, and uh, just turn to a specific page and, like, toss it over to you. Um, the journal entry says... Shortly after I turned 18, two young boys from my village went missing. Their names were Rorak and Fenley. These two boys were particularly fond of teasing me, to say the least. The last time they had been seen was while I was on night watch duty for the clans, throwing rocks at me while calling me names. Everyone assumed because of this I was responsible for their disappearance. Being 18, I could be tried as an adult, and due to the low numbers of our tribe, the crime of hurting or killing children is considered one of the most heinous one can commit. I was sentenced to death by hanging. It didn't matter that I was innocent and had nothing to do with the boy's disappearance. Many were eager to assist me onto the gallows. Fortunately, when I dropped, my neck didn't instantly break. I was dangling there for what felt like hours, but was surely mere moments. I was clawing at the ropes, trying to loosen them enough to breathe and more than the occasional gasp, and the crushing sensation around my windpipe was excruciating. As I dangled, the two boys were spotted on the horizon running back to the village. Little fuckers had just gotten lost on a nighttime stroll. My parents came forward and cut me down once they saw the boys have been sighted, but the damage was done. I tried to speak on a few occasions after, and it always ends in searing pain and faint rasps. Is, is, is Davian reading this out? No. For anyone, in, for anyone watching, that is up on World Anvil, so if you ever want to read that, it is there. I can, I, I'll, I'll paraphrase that. I won't read, read it out verbatim, but just, you know... Around the age of 18. Hanging gone wrong. Missing. Was Dagon Dealier. was blamed and hanged. The hanging failed. Hanging wrong Boys were fine. Gone. Voice gone. Well, that's... Depressing. But <laughs> awful. Now, so... Okay, hold, hold, on, hold on, hold on. I think I'm trying to say that... I'm sorry, but... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, the strangest I thing about this stupid. to me is, as a result, I assume, well, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I assume that your uh, fear, for want of a better, better word, of the law, is as a result of this. But that, God, would yes. make, that would make me fucking hate the establishment more than fucking anything. <laughs> that would make me want to fucking break more law. If you could get fucking, you know, within an inch of your life, you, 
for something you didn't do, you might as well fucking go on a rampage and you know, actually do something. You know what I mean? That's that, at least that's the fact. How I'll really just did. write back. I'll, I'll take a blank page and quickly whip up and go, and then become what they expect me to be, and just toss it back. Well, I suppose that is the irony of it. But I'm just if I you know if I was in that situation, I'd I would not be happy. Well. I don't think anyone would be. I think Tiger's is oh, no, 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 I'm not. I, just, just, I would I get, be very anti-establishment, <laughs> right? You know, rather you, you than law-abiding citizen. You did everything right and still got punished for it, so why? Right. I mean, what's the so what's the fucking point? Conforming? Yeah. Interesting. Well, yeah, that's, uh, that's rough. But it is your turn to spin. A two, a Lazarin. The Pied Piper of Hamlet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take another truth. Um, I'll just write it down since I've got the journal out now. So Cass has it says, Why are you so hesitant to hook up with Siren when she obviously is into you? And then just pass the question. <laughs> See, like, it doesn't like contemplates for say kind of like same space. Relationships in general are complicated, especially with people whom I can show care to. It's, I don't want to get her too close. Who says it has to be a relationship? As he says, I just signed a Kess. Virgin, got it. You're, you're both, you're both <laughs> literally adults. not have slept with a hooker. <laughs> You've drawn <laughs> an image of him having sex with a hooker. Yeah, yeah, for all I know, they went up there and then just like cuddled. Oh. Because now he's, like, not, he's not Cyrus. <laughs> he had a cry. He just cried on her. And again, no. you don't know I said that. No, no. Only Cass I know. knows I, I said know. that. I know. Um, and she ain't saying it's, shit. It's also she's new to everything as well. I don't want to. I wanted to explore the world herself. And not your gonads. I, I'll write back. Yes. You're not getting fucking married. God, it's a date. It's one night. Calm down. No, and just oh, show him that. But that can mean a lot to certain people. I just also just be clear you would want to feel like you're taking the, taking advantage, advantage of, of, her. of yes. someone completely new to our culture. Rather get her world and culture experience first. Right back. Just because she's not worldly doesn't mean she has no agency. She's an adult. And there's different. But we had a position. If, if of you if you went for her in this also, if, if, I don't know what her culture is no, like. No, no. I don't know so about if, her culture. If we if we went to her culture and and her home, we went back there. And and she expressed interest in you, and you two hooked up. Would she be taking advantage of you in that scenario? Who knows? Maybe. If I just if just because I was there, just because to she doesn't and be you can't say that. maybe when it's you who would be consenting that scenario and you would know the answer to that question. It, dep it depends on the scenario. <laughs> just because she doesn't necessarily know how everything works in the city doesn't mean that she's not an adult who can make yes. her own decisions. Like I can make my own as well. I'm and and no, at no point have you said that you're not interested. interested yeah. You've just said that you know you've listed all these shitty reasons. Just fucking. Talk to her about it at the very least, because then you might get answers to all these shitty reasons. I'd like to and think might she not, hasn't even and it won't go anywhere. Yet, and it's not a problem. About, about I, in my I head, this was quiet. I, 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 We're I like, rolled, I rolled a perception check. I rolled a perception. Check. <laughs> She's laying in like in like a bedroom, <laughs> facing away from us, just yeah. now, eyes open. <laughs> My name fucking written on like a dagger. I'm so like, oh no. <laughs> oh fuck it now. Then I open. It's shaped like a dagger, but it's blunt at the end. No. <laughs> Alright. No. Um, and on that note, I think it's probably time to end this game. <laughs> wow. You got your Coward. answers. You don't want to roll yes. one more time. Oh, go on then. One, one more. more. One more. You, sh you should roll, and then you can fuck off to bed or whatever. Brooks. Oh, fuck. I regret <laughs> He regrets it. <laughs> Truth or dare, Brooks? Truth. <laughs> he rolls for it. Of course it does. 
Oh, what do I want if to I know? If I can't about... predict Brooks, how can anyone else? True. Oh, true. True. What do I want to know about Brooks? So much. Body count. <laughs> 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 but... <laughs> but which one? Yeah, I exactly. You don't. I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Davin, if you've got one, I don't have any burning questions for. Well, burning questions is right on the money. Oh no! <laughs> Are you gonna do what I think you're gonna do? Yes. He's gonna ask cool. about it. Why do you hate being blessed, Brooks? Oh, never mind. Not where I thought that was going. And what diseases do you have? <laughs> yeah, I was like, what's going on? <laughs> None of them, because unfortunately your mother wouldn't hang out with me. <laughs> you have a visceral, or a ailed reaction whenever a Lazarin. It's just you know. I for one love to see in the dark. So. <clears throat> I just kind of, I just kind of look at Brooks. I am also just looking smile. at Brooks. <laughs> In the spirit of the game, I am going to be more honest than I would usually prefer. I have... Would it be natural? Unnatural? I have a reaction to a Lazarus <laughs> magic and be natural. Holy sight. Be natural. It's a natural phenomenon. Naturally unnatural in me. Supernatural? <laughs> <laughs> I would say. <clears throat> it might be easier if I just show you. As long as your help. fucking trousers stay on. <laughs> <laughs> Something has to come off. Just the trousers? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't care what else you take off. Uh, Brooks will move his hair back. And there are two very slight, about maybe half an inch stumps on either side. And then I will cast Disguise Self. And I will be me but with full-size teeth and horns. What, what kind of, like, how, how do they look? Do they, like, uh, curl back? Do they, like, go to the Brooks's side? Brooks' horns uh, curl back and then off to the side slightly. Kind of goatee? Yeah. Uh, right. I am a tiefling. Hmm. Right. That, well, that makes... Um, a yes. couple of the group already knew because Alazrin was very aggressive about it. Um, yes. I needed to know. I I wasn't aggressive about it. No, I te technically, uh, you I just never... told me. I didn't even ask. Well, yeah. Ah. I... <laughs> okay, it was different when I met Jax. Okay, hold on. Jack for longer. Dargan, I... tell me you were in the dark about this as well. I just I I Ooh. do that and I just write in the dirt, always. Oh yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I never actually lied to any of you. It's more that I never mentioned it. Right, but you know, I'm sure Kess didn't technically lie about the vessel, but it was still a bit of a strange situation, you know. I yeah, but okay, but when Have is this ever gonna? Vessel? It's not even that this is ever going to come up because <laughs> I took my horns off, so... I just um, give a thumbs up, which is going to universal, like, I'm not upset or anything, so... Because... I will sign... Thank you. <laughs> I mean, yeah, um, I, I'm not mad. It's not you've, you've it's not, not really I, made any, I, any difference, it's just... I'll, I'll drop the illusion. I... Was one of the lucky ones in the sense that barring horns I look normal. So as he says that I look I just because I'm like, yeah, you don't have a tail in my head and I just kind of look around and because I know I've occasionally hidden my tail in clothes, but it's kind of You've still seen Brooks in the so. back, like you know he doesn't have a tail. True, true. I was maybe, maybe you magically hid it. I don't know. 
Okay, I said not, human, not, but... to be fair. Could... Yeah. Passing... Someone... With my history and expertise, it's much easier to pass as human or humanoid. You know, like, generic humanoid, I can just... Like, this magic -y thing is a fairly recent-ish thing. But, like, with disguise kits and such, like, it's very easy to just put some pointed ears on and... Oh, I'm, I'm a half-elf now or whatever, but... The horns are difficult to cover and I didn't want to fucking wear a hat all the time, so I took them off. So, uh, wait, did you... Did you take them off? Yeah. To make it easier to disguise yourself, like, like, yeah. uh, uh, let, let, let me clarify. <clears throat> so that you could adopt many different identities, or to escape that identity. <coughs> Sorry, I don't have anything. I'm, I'm not uncomfortable with the fact that I'm a tiefling. It just, when we first met, I was happy enough not to mention it on the circumstances that we met, and the fact that I. It it has been known on occasion that at the scene of a crime, certain people may point fingers at a tiefling, and it does happen. Maybe not in bigger cities, but it does, so I was happy to not mention it. But I'm not ashamed of who I am, necessarily. Uh, oh, it's already fucking sucked on. I just took him off because so, it was whoa, whoa. easier to disguise myself. And draw less attention in general. But that's why... I don't... It's not that I don't appreciate when he casts spells on me. But A, I can see in the dark anyway. And B... It makes me feel... It's like the worst hangover you've ever had. And I've had some very bad hangovers. Itchy and hot. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's the same in churches. I don't like churches very much. Right. Well, interesting. I'm sure, well, we said that would be the last one, but I mean, if anyone's going to bed, I'll probably be up a little longer. I'll and just head off to bed. Uh, wake me up whenever you want. We should do a, a look out. Take a watch. We should yeah. probably figure out a watch order before anyone else goes to bed. I can yeah. take first watch. I signed to Kess bed. that she might want to, just a reminder, you may want to take watch with Brooks if you wanted to have that chat. Yeah, I know. Okay. Uh, I'll take a watch whenever. I'll just catch up on sleep in the car. Yeah, we all love that. I'll just go after Jax. Makes it easier. What I'll you mean? Third. What's wrong with me sleeping in the car? Well, I was, like, nothing oh, really. Is it because I I'm a tiefling? Is that what it is? Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Always has been. <laughs> I'll go forth with How Brooks. long have you known? 40 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. So, uh, everyone so kind who's, of... Who's, who's taking last watch, then? Uh, me you and mean... you. Okay. You got volunteered. So, Lazarus yeah. first, Jax is second, Davian's third. What? I'm no, I'm no third. Jax, me, yeah. Lazarus. first. I'm too I'm drunk third. for this shit. I don't care anymore. Third. Just wake me up whenever someone, please. <laughs> Understood. Right. So everyone goes beddies. Um, Jax. And I get to nap. Sir. On your watch, make a perception check, please. That's a natural one. <laughs> it is very dark. You don't hear much. Kind of, I don't have dark vision either. You kind either, of so that like catch help. yourself. You know, you had a couple drinks. You kind of catch yourself like nodding off a little bit. Uh, but eventually, your two hours are up and uh, nothing happened. So I guess you're good. Yep, I uh, wake up to have and then I'm uh, going to bed. Actually, during my watch, could I to wake up Davian cast Identify on that humming ore that I have? Sure. Okay. Now, expand a spell slot and cast Identify on I it. Put it in okay. my pot. You identify it. Um, you don't necessarily deduce any, like magical properties per se but nah you kind of 
for lack of better word, or for lack of better term, you get to know what you're dealing with a little better. Yeah. And now that you truly know kind of like the magical energy from within, um, this is Arcanite Ore, which is uh, a very rare material and in the right hands um, can be used to make some fucking wild things. Oh, shit. Like, this is the kind of shit they make, like, you know, f antimatter rifles with, like, fucking, like, lasers and shit. It's, uh... Not easy to find. And very hard okay. to... Very hard to refine. A very lengthy process to refine, but if done successfully, holds a lot of potential. How expensive is it, potentially? Uh, you wouldn't know. Okay. I was just curious, because I'm trying to figure out how much I stole from whoever we just fucking... I used to think it's you reckon that that one chunk of ore you have in your hands right now is more valuable than an entire cart's load? With iron and silver. Oh, and fuck, guys. We're going to be hunted down. All right. It's hmm. a very okay. valuable, um, very rare material. Yay. <laughs> Anyways. All right. Uh, David, get up. Why would I drink a bottle of wine? <laughs> yeah. An hour, and then take watch. He's That's dead. why I stayed up. Yeah, oh, he's got that wine headache. <laughs> I'm gonna hit the water skin real hard and uh, take my uh, oh, make perception check with the assistance of a new. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, either roll two separate checks or just roll with advantage. Up to you. Uh, I roll two separate checks. Uh, green die is me, and silver die is Odu. Um, I got a 10, and Onu got a 15. Um, you don't really notice anything, it's pretty quiet. Onu kind of flies about and, and um, doesn't seem to alarm you of anything. He's just kind of vibing, uh, not much going on. Anything you want to do on your watch before you go back to uh, bed? Or? Walk like... I'll leave Onu circling around above, above the camp, and I'll walk... Oh, uh, I'll walk just for five minutes away. Uh, it's still in the wooded area, not too close to the road. Mm -hmm. uh, and then just try and cast the fucking Eldritch Blast at a tree. Oh, Make a charisma check. Oh, dirty 20. Ooh. You notice a, um, like a warm tingling sensation as the tears on your neck kind of start to, uh, uh, very, very gently, like, vibrate. And are you, like, pointing at something, or are you, like... Yes, at a tree. Like, I'm just... And you, you can, know, you as can I've see... Seen you spot, and you can feel your face starts to glow, and... It, like, your entire body starts to tingle and feel warm. And as you're pointing, you can see some, like, orange, just, like, fire seep from the, the, the necklace. Starts to wrap around your arm and just, like, wraps all the way to your fingertip and then shoots out and just into a tree. Okay. I'll put my necklace back into my tunic and walk the five minutes back <laughs> with, uh... Just a, you know, subtle sense of, of pride. Smugness. Uh, and then I'll wake up Elazarin. And uh, call it a night. Good looking. Elazarin, anything you want to do in your watch? Uh, not particularly. Okay, just make a perception check then. Uh, 22. 22? Mm-hmm. You... Um... Here's some rustling. Uh, from, like, nearby, um, kind of, you know, catches your attention. Uh, and as you kind of look at it for a couple of minutes, you just notice that it's just, it's just like a little rabbit that's just kind of, like, rustling through, through mm -hmm. a piece of shrubbery and just walks off. Other than that, not much. Oh, I'll wake up, uh, Kessin Brooks. Okay. Oh, I'll 
see if Kess is on the fucking thing or not. <laughs> no, like... She will have been out by now, but I did uh, want to do something inside the vessel, but I don't think everyone else needs to mute. I just want to see if I can get Elsinore to show up in there. In the vessel? Oh, interesting. Uh, Elsinore. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you try, and she appears sort of? Instead of her like physical form, this like 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 see-through, translucent version of her kind of shows up, um, and she'll basically explain to you that it requires a lot of power, even for her, to seep into someone's like private pocket dimension, if you will. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is at the moment the best she can do. Okay. Um. I just want to ask her about the ores that we found, like the shipment of ores. Well, what do you want to know? Is it is it important? Oh, supplies. We need to, you know, balls and whatnot. It's annoying more than anything, but um, if you be a dear and just let the steed know where it is, so you can go pick it up. It'd be great. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure there wasn't anything in there that was dangerous or anything like that. No, not dangerous. Um, there should be some ore there that. Well, it's not dangerous, just very valuable. But um, it'll be alright. Okay. All right. That's it. By the way, um. That's chat. I have to ask. <laughs> and Brooke's guy going to be a problem? No. Yep. I don't think so. I'm trusting you. <laughs> and this is like the first time really since you've spoken, like since you've met her, where her like cheeky smile becomes a very serious like, like just a, a look into your eyes, and like the smile disappears and it becomes like this, this like very straight face. I'll take care of it. Okay. And then immediately just back. Okay, cool. <clears throat> and then she disappears and you hear that like, <laughs> she kind of just like, her like shape just... Sauce. <laughs> Sauce. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. And um, when I'm out. You and, you and Brooks. Uh, mm -hmm. Anything you guys want to do while you're watching? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you got to have a chance. Mm. I feel up for this one. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm writing a fucking essay. What's it look like I'm doing? I don't know. You could be doing anything. You're very secretive about that. It's what since I stole it? Only towards you because it's funny to not show you. That's right. Because you're the only person that really gives a shit. Mm, that's true, actually. A bit, no one else seems to care. <laughs> Which is why, if any of them asked, I would let them have a look. Oh come on! Can I can I at least like steal it at some point? <laughs> If I say yes, it's not stealing. Yes, but then I can steal it <laughs> without pissing you off. Can't physically steal it if I say yes. You don't know when I'm taking it. You're just borrowing it at an undisclosed time. <laughs> Potatoes, tomato. Potatoes, tomato. Yeah, that's that's the phrase, isn't it? Potato, potato. Oh. Tomato, tomato. Why are there two different ones? If they basically mean the same thing. <laughs> because the whole point is that they mean the same thing. Potato, tomato. <laughs> tomato, potato. D they're different things. Okay. I'm surprised you haven't asked me about what Jolly said. To be honest. Which bit about what Jolly said? Well, she kind of slipped up. 
And then you tried to ask about it, and she promptly shut you down. It's fine. She didn't want to talk about it, and that's not a problem. But thank you for admitting that she slipped up. She did. She wanted to kill you for it. It's a bit harsh. Considering everything we've done. She wasn't the only one who wanted to kill you over it. I mean... Look at what happened to the last group of people that tried to kill me. Yes, the last group of people who tried to kill you weren't gods. Close enough, though. It'll be fine. <laughs> If Jolly was that worried about it, she could have at least spoke to me herself. That's that's what I'm doing. I said I'd take care of it instead. We had to okay. leave. Without naming names, I have met the person that she mentioned by accident. That was the only reason it piqued my interest. It's not that I could bring myself to care enough to start digging into it. That's what I figured. If I thought you were actually going to like dig into it, I would have just probably not said anything. Although it would be annoying if you died. What do you mean annoying if I died? It would be annoying. Why would it be annoying? Well, I figured it probably damaged the relationship I have with the rest of the party, if they found out I could have stopped it and then didn't. Not to mention, like, Diagon has a whole thing about, like, following the law. But then Diagon could have also stopped it, but didn't, I guess, so. Yeah, she could blame it on her disability. I wouldn't blame her if she did. <laughs> she just said, like, I couldn't put a stop to it even if I wanted to. I can't she's talk. found ways around it. I'm making my best fucking attempt to learn. That's true. I know, like, four words, but that's four more than most people. I, I'm almost surprised you remembered them. I'm not as stupid as you seem to think. No, I'm a more... Sometimes I think the vast amounts of alcohol you consume like fry your brain a little bit. I think everyone tends to overestimate the amount I drink on a day-to-day -day basis. Oh, absolutely. But it's funny. <laughs> anyway, I don't know why you're fucking grilling me with all the fucking <sighs> shitty secrets that you've got. You know? Have you spoke like to Dagon yet? About what? About the whole blue situation and well I mentioned that to everyone <sighs> not about telling everyone about <sighs> did you I know you told the group did you tell Dagon before you told the group no I just told everyone at the same time seemed more efficient that's the whole problem why? It's just, everyone's gonna find out when I tell everyone. Why would I have to need to tell, like, one person before I tell everyone else? Because you're supposed to have a different sort of relationship with Dagon because you're supposed to trust her because you... I fucking give up. Just... <sighs> if Even if you told her, you know, an hour before you told the rest of us, it would have gone some way to not you know to to make amends for the last time you fucked up because Dagon would have then gone oh well she's told me before telling everyone else clearly she's you know she's actually thought about it mm, that would have been suspicious that's you like a like a larger step to go than I actually did it was like a half step you can lead a horse to water, I tell you, but that's about as much as you can do. 
I, I, I'm not familiar with the horse thing. You don't know what that means. You can take a horse by the reins mm -hmm. to a river or a lake to water. Mm -hmm. But you cannot force them to drink it. No. I can do everything I can to help you not be a fucking moron. But I cannot not make you a fucking moron. That I'm not is something stupid. you have to do for yourself. I... <laughs> ah. We've been drinking all night and I still feel like I'm too sober for your shit. <laughs> I think that's the nicest thing you've ever said about me. Who knows? <clears throat> I mean, it's a low bar, but... Not yeah. nonetheless. Occasionally pleasant. Mm, few and far between. Specifically to me. Said, and I quote, It would be annoying if you died. Not, it would be. It would be sad. Not, I would miss you. Not anything like that. Just, it would be a mild inconvenience to me. I mean, last time you died, I, I was annoyed. <laughs> I think I punched you. You punched me in the shoulder, I think, when I woke up. Yeah. And I, like, cleaned off all the disguise makeup that you'd put on. It seemed uncomfortable. I... I'll be honest, I should have assumed that was Lazarin. No. It seemed like a very cleric-y, healer -y thing to do. He's not a very good cleric. <laughs> As clerics go. <laughs> the ones I've met. <clears throat> you, you mean a lot of clerics in your line of work? Well, I've needed healing it. And I, I did get taught by quite a few. And then I needed healing from them quite a lot. I would have a lot of trouble. I feel like every conversation we have ends up with more questions than answers. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, you can tell Jolly it's fine. I don't really give a shit. That's what I figured. You don't have any questions? Wow. I don't know. You had a lot of questions about a lot of things, and then I started telling you answers, and you were like, no, I can't hear this anymore. There is a constant balance between my natural curiosity and my dislike of knowing things about you for when it inevitably comes out that you haven't told someone else and someone else. If you and Daigon have another tiff, I don't want to be in the middle of that. I don't want Daigon to be like, well, it's because you told him, you know? To be honest, I think at this point, you and Daigon know about the same amount. I don't know if that makes me feel better or not. I think I'm pretty much even. I'm not saying any of what you know is true. I'm just saying that you know the same information. I could be lying. Maybe Jax is right. Maybe Blue and Dashu are just imaginary friends. I mean... Although if, if that so, were true, then... it would be a very big gamble, considering I said that Dashu would let me pull him out of the vessel to meet you guys anyway. If they're not real, then... I want to know why the fuck I spent an entire day making a statue. <laughs> Amusement. <laughs> for you or for me? For me. No, it's for me. Right, okay. I would have been a bit more skeptical of it had I not been a part of Davin's whole bad juju waking nightmare fireman mm. thing with, that's uh, that makes sense medium juju <laughs> i mumbled from my sleep <laughs> <laughs> medium juju <laughs> medium juju fuck I... problem with lies is that 
eventually you get to a point where it becomes difficult to keep track of everything and who you've told what. The nuance is in knowing what to say and what not to say, rather than lying. Depends on how good you are at lying. Nobody's accused me of it thus far, so who knows? True. Could a face like this ever tell anything but the solemn truth? I'd be surprised if it ever did tell the truth. I told everyone about being a tiefling. Eventually. There was never any reason to. No. And you told most of us anyway. And then just not told two people? I didn't really tell here. most of us in so much as I told Jax because he didn't meet me in the middle of a active, like, fucking attempted murder investigation. And I didn't tell you two so much as a Lazarin hit me with the fucking Eldalon Inquisition. <laughs> you know, just fucking jumped out of a bush like, are you a fucking fiend or are you undead, you son of a bitch? Yeah, he did not go about that well. No. All the subtlety of a fucking brick in a sock. <laughs> I hate you so much, dude. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <clears throat> uh, um, I think I'm done. I don't, I don't need to talk circles around I've you anymore. I've been done for a long time. I could tell. That's that's where most of it, the enjoyment comes from. You, um, you know, the sun's okay. coming up at this point. You guys have just kind of been talking for the last couple of hours. Um, everybody slowly starts to wake up. Brooks? You suddenly feel like a like a burning sensation in, in your in your back pocket. In my back pocket. Oh. Yeah. Uh oh. The diseases. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's the fullest like, man. Like your left like butt cheek pocket of your pants. I will make sure there's not a hole in my trousers. There's not, but you do feel something in there. Uh, okay. What is it, Mr. D? The pesky ants again. I mean, do you like <laughs> put like do you, do you look? Like do you? I'll put my hand in and see what I feel. Feels <laughs> like it feels like uh, like a like a note of some kind. The oh, fuck. I uh, I'm just gonna have to bathroom before everyone wakes up. Yeah, I don't care. I will walk and go behind a tree and check the note. Uh, you check the note and it says. Weeping mug. And you return to Eldalon, and it's just signed with a red lotus. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh. But I have oh. no idea what the red lotus means. Nope, you just, you just, it's a, this magical invite to talk to someone at the Weeping Mug just appeared in your back pocket. I think I know out of character who this is, but Brooks won't. There's no indication to Brooks who it is. No. So... Is the note still burning? So that's warm to the touch. Yeah. I am going to tear it into pieces. Okay. Put it behind the tree and very quietly kick some dirt over it. <laughs> Alright. And then go back and sit down. Okay. And I will look at Kess. If you really want to steal my journal, then why not put a wager on it if you manage to take it from me before we get to Dermoth, mm -hmm. i will buy you a bottle of some form of alcohol and if not you have to buy me some that's a boring wager but i'll do it have you got something better in mind I don't particularly want to bet my soul over a fucking sketchbook. Oh, then no, I don't have anything better. <laughs> that, was, that was what I'd suggest. Then you can oh get stuffed. God. What the fuck? 
Okay, at this point, Please everybody... Please, God, tell me someone else is awake. ...slowly starts to wake up for the, for the start of the next day. The second day in your... Oh. ...a three-day trek to... ...New Daramuth. Anything you guys want to do in the morning, or just uh, eating some rations and uh, getting the road? Eat some rations. Hit the road. Eat some Eat rations. Removing brain. Hit the road. Um, this day of travel goes by relatively quickly. Um, the roads are pretty clear. The weather is, you know, it's it's, uh, it's, it's good. It's, it's sunny out. Uh, small bit of, uh, slight bit of wind uh, to cool it down a little bit. Um, and towards the evening, you get to towards another place where you reckon, you know, good a place as any to make a camp. Um... As you kind of go about your 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 camp activities, um, anything you guys wish to do? Uh, I'll just kind of talk to the group. I mean, we're getting quite close to New Daramuth. We should probably have some sort of plan of what uh, we're doing, because I'm sure it's fuck not going in. Uh, well, I think we already figured Paris. it was going to be me, Kess, and Brooks. I can, yes, right? I mean, I can disguise myself with the magic thing, right. but I feel like that's better for an emergency. I would rather take the time to use the disguise kit first. But okay. anyone that wants to go, I could, in theory, disguise. Jax but, would probably but, be the most difficult, but... I'm I'm not so known. Jack, Jack, the people that go... The, 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 the riskier it is, so I figured we would split... Well, I'm, at I'm least not evenly. affiliated with you in that way, right? They, I'm, I'm not. Well, not true. true. Yeah. Not was... in New Darmouth. So I could, but... um, and I'm known in New Darmouth. Like I've I've been there before, and I've done business on behalf of my people. So if there's anything that works, I could go into my the city. My only, my only worry with that is, you haven't been seen with us in New Darmouth, but you've been seen with us in Eldalon. Yeah, but didn't, um, what was Siren there when the Lazar mentioned, like, the news he got about the last time he was seen? Uh, Siren knows nothing about okay. the Nightwebs. Okay. Siren technically has not been told about why I'm okay. okay. being so secretive. Well, I mean... Unless she's overheard it. Does it matter? So I'll sign to Kess to pass on if she wants to. I mean, it's still a less tangible connection than any of us. Like, even if they, if they... If they know that, great, but it's more likely they don't know of the connection than they know about any of our connection to Elazar. Like, I don't know I the exact like... details of, of why the secrecy is needed, but if you need someone from outside of your immediate group to go do something, I, I could. I feel like Siren, out of all of us, is the lowest risk without a disguise. <laughs> uh, I think Siren I goes with like you the... without a disguise. I feel like the lowest risk of all of us is to go disguised with no one that looks like they're anything affiliated with us. I mean, I think... Well, the fact, I, I mentioned this before, with... but as soon as I take off the cloak, I just look like a regular guy, so I was about to say, I think as far as it goes as well with Siren, I mean, they only know that we were basically her bodyguards. I think that if... Who is... Uh, who is they? Like, who should I be looking out for? Or avoiding, rather? It's, it's like a... It's like a... It's like a they... No, uh, no one in, no one in particular. The, the powers know, the that be. Yeah, yeah, like, the, yes, the, the less better. you know, the better. Mm. Just... Plausible as an ability. Bullshit, but sure. Literally, if, it's not, if... Part, part of me wants to say Sirin stays... No, never mind. No, uh, Sirin... Well, the, th uh, the thing is that the people who aren't going to the city need to circumnavigate the city somewhat quietly we'll try and get so to the... we can meet up on the other side i don't know if it's worth us going to the well, do we go to the north of the city then try and get yeah. past but we don't know what's like the north like west, open up on that. what's like yeah. i also is there any big landmarks to the northwest not really there's jungle to the i'll west. sign to Kess that no matter what i'll be part of the group that's staying outside of the city just because i'm also one of the harder to disguise and i can't talk to people most so i'll be less helpful but that you mm. sh she should go in just in for any any lo if there's it. any business any lotus business mm. that needs to be dealt with i was thinking the same thing yeah so 
Onu staying with us. And then... And we just keep an eye out for Onu when we come out the other side of the city? Onu, yeah. Yeah. yeah or, if we, or if we get into danger, he can try and find you. I don't know if it, which way around mm. it was better, but I think he... I mean, he doesn't exactly have a home and capability yeah, or anything, but... He... I think you're able to see a new Jareth from the air quite easily. Yeah, I mean, if he flies over and collects his yeah. beat, we'll... So, out of character, it sounds like, just to make sure I'm on the same page, it sounds like me, Elazarin, Jax, with, uh, stay with Onu outside of city, because me and Jax yeah. are sufficient protection for Elazarin and, go, and Hardest of Disguise. Around. And then go everyone around. else is go. going in. Yeah. 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 And we're um, going to okay, find... Okay, so if someone's else going in, who wants to take over... Uh, Finding the steed. I can do that. Yeah. Oh, the uh, yes, to, give, to tell them about the deposits that they lost on the cops. I can do that. Yes, you can be less uh, blue. Okay. Right. I can I, I can do whatever I want. I can be invisible if I want. Right. That's yeah. True. I That's remember to learn yeah. that. Um, it's very handy. It's great because I can see her when she goes. And we're looking for do, do we have, do we have only if you notice me go invisible. Do we have a list of things we need to do? Sort well, a, the steed than, about is other than the steed. Or, find the stallion. Uh, yes, uh, and I'll hand Kess the and Sir Oliver about the triton. I'm guessing you're going to be Team Oliver. Well, yeah, I mean, he's one of my countrymen. So Oliver, yeah, does he have a um? This is the first time you mentioned that name in front of Siren? In front of Siren, yeah. Yeah. So. Um. I, I, I heard his name before. Is he? He traveled through my 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 town. Um. Uh, when he when he was doing his adventures. Um. Don't know how long ago this was, but I've I've heard stories about him. Um. Yeah, I'd be quite. That's that's who we're looking for. Because he's had in... some sort of contact with the Triton, and uh, it might have some good advice. I'd be quite interested to tag along with you in that case. To see if he. Yeah, that works. You know, since he was technically one of the first people to come in contact with us, I'm curious to see what kind of man he is. Judging by his writing, he's agreeable enough. But you can only ascertain so much from someone's own book, so we shall see. But um, are we? Are we both? I hate sorry, having you have to, to do a watch. That. I hate having to do a watch. Are we? Uh, are we? Are we body systeming? Yes, it was me and you were going after oh, the steed. Uh, great. <laughs> and those two are going after the information about the Triton. Yeah, the two rangers. That's everything do... we need to do. You know, the two rangers team up and the two... Um, others. Others. I like to prefer to them as Team Bumblefuck. Team Bumblefuck. That's all of us, I think. I, think we're all I team don't know what that means. Hmm. Yeah. Exactly sure what it sounds like. I've learned another neat trick um, during my time in Eldalon is whenever I don't understand what's being talked about, I just nod and smile. <laughs> That's probably one of the best bits of advice you could ever learn about being a diplomat. Just I used to do style. that, but then I found out oh, it annoys people goodness. if I ask for answers, so I started doing that instead. It's more fun. Mm -hmm. the occasional chuckle. That... Hmm. So, so we have that those things. Is there anything we need to buy here? Is there anything? Is that everything they, we need to do? I don't think there's anything we need to buy or anything like that. That you get in, get out as least suspicious as you can. Am I Just sensing a party it. split? Yeah, uh, it sounds there like it. The, the party. A split nice right down the middle. The party. <laughs> the it's split. great. Uh, okay. We're going into a two, a two, and a four. Yep. Oh, oh I guess. Two, yeah. Two, yeah. Two, two and a three. Two, what are you talking two, about? Two, three, two and a bird. Three. three and a bird on the <laughs> outside. <laughs> Oh, three and a half. It's like it's like two and a half men, but it's just four and a bird. Three, uh, three sorry, and a four, bird. and then three and a bird. But he, he, no, because I mean he carried up. last fight. Oh, Are true. We yeah, we spent up. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. One's Sir Oliver, and one's mm -hmm. one's Steed. Yep. 
Yep. The steed. Cool. Mm -hmm. cool, 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 cool. Let's go. We're still a day out from New Dermoth. We're discussing yeah. this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're on the path to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as you're kind of discussing this, um, who has a high pass perception? Is Kess, right? Kess, I've got 15. Kess is... Me. 15? Only Kess. I have a 14 for passive perception. I don't necessarily I have a 16. hear anything. You three. The 14, 15, 16. Whatever, uh, oh. You smell something. A oh. scent coming closer. Um, oh, Jax. Like, like sulfur. <laughs> oh, nose. Jax. I, I'm just going to like wrinkle my nose and point to my nose and look at the group and like try I and look, catch everyone's attention. I mean, I look at... I, I, what the fuck is that smell? It is bad. And as you bad. mentioned that, from the shrubbery, steps... A tall, um, red-skinned individual wearing a chainmail uh, oh, and, and leather pants, two large knives hanging from his belt, a variety of like purple, very advanced, like balls almost, throwables hanging from his belt, and advanced in his arm, balls. this like purple, um, You've seen firearms before, but this is unlike anything you've ever seen before. And Same pub as the Arcanine? He just, uh, sorry? Same pub as uh, the Arcanine? Similar, yeah. And he just approaches the camp, two large horns curled and, and like barbed almost. And that's where we're going to leave it for today, I think. Oh! Oh! I hit man. Dutch sent us a fucking stripper. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. He pulls out a tape deck, starts playing Wig Wham Bam, whatever. Yeah. Uh, There's large tree. purple fire out. <laughs> <laughs> he's got, he's got anal beads goes. snaked around his front and a, oh, a big dildo gun. <laughs> pulls the trigger oh. and it just spins and vibrates. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit comes out the top and goes, wee, 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 wee. Fucking hell. Well, have fun with that next week, the guys. Right, I can't die because I won't be here. Oh, you can die. Oh, oh you can die. Nope, I can't die. We just have the rules. If I'm not yeah. there, I can't die. Haha. -ha. That's the rule, right? Who made, who That's made the that rule. Home, so it's definitely not me. I made that rule, so haha. <laughs> <Okay>. ha -ha. <laughs> okay. Get bugs. You can't hurt me. Batman can't oh, touch me. All right. Batman maybe he just wants power to talk. Okay. Maybe. Uh, maybe I everybody hiding Jack's bag. Actually, okay, Bolton. I mean, if he wanted to fight, he probably wouldn't have just revealed himself and strutted up. Yeah, would have well, fucking shot from a mile out. Or he's yeah. just that confident that he doesn't give a fuck. Or yeah, that. Okay, uh, uh, we'll, we'll see you next week, guys. Um, yeah. <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate it. Uh, see you guys next time. Tomorrow we'll be live for some Divinity and all that good stuff. And uh, Thursday... And everybody had a lot of fucking exposition today. Well, yeah, just because we played yeah. that game. Dead, baby! Do -do -do. Is anyone unavailable on Thursday? Just at first, to strike uh, some names off I'm the list. I'm only sure. available Thursday. I'm not available next Thursday. To be fair. Okay, Soko. So. In that case, I want you because like this okay. is like the first time we talked about the whole Golem situation, and that's definitely something that I want. Yeah, true. Want to except for Desai, yeah. Um. So Soko and Brooks. Yeah. Cause Brooks revealed. Cause Brooks revealed he's a tiefling, and now a tiefling just showed up, and then his his chat uh, with Cass. That's, that's an assumption you're making. Tiefling? Tiefling. Drew, the horned individual with showed horns. up. Yeah. Batman with horns. You're Minotaur. Something. He's he's actually a human in makeup. And <laughs> Tom. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking. I, I I don't know. I definitely want Soko, and we'll determine the other guests like tomorrow or something. Wrote a I'm poem have, about a Minotaur. <laughs> Thanks for watching, oh, everybody. Oh, Peace oh, out. Have a poem. Poem. Uh, oh, peace out, everybody. Tinfoil. <laughs> Bye. Right,